Kali. Okay. Okay. Um, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I'm Captain Admiral Bob Young Lee. Young Lee. The first. The first. And I have Kalila Koloko Koloko Lokakun, mm-hmm. my girlfriend. I don't mm-hmm. don't really know how to say her last name. And it's been <laughs> he still years. doesn't. Kuhn. We've been together three Kuhn. years. Kuhn. Say it. Kuhn. We've got um, Gilbert. I don't know your last name. What is it? Galone. Galone. No, I, I think I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. And then we have a wow. um, guest today, um, Jade Catapreta Preta Preta yes. Kade wow. from um, the sitcom Manhattan Love Story. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Didn't make and, it? Can't, got canceled? <laughs> Oh, yeah, how long? How many episodes? Eleven did you do? episodes. There we go. That's a lot. That's a win. It was cool. And she's on Girl Code. Funny. And she's also mm-hmm. on. Uh, she hosts for VH1. What? What do you host? I have a show called Flashback Fridays. Flashback oh. Fridays. Yeah. And uh, she sometimes opens for me on the road, mm-hmm. and uh, she opens also for Bill Burr and um, Kevin Nealon. And I'm your third. <laughs> <laughs> your third <laughs> choice. I'm your third choice. You're the OG. Admit, no, just admit though. No, I, I no. Want, no. Admit it right now that I'm your third choice. You, just, you never hang out during the day, and you know I want to go paddleboarding and like sightseeing <laughs> and mm-hmm. stuff, and mm-hmm. you know. Kim oh, does really? That Kevin Nealon goes paddleboarding. <laughs> he went paddleboarding with me. He did. He did. What? He did. And, and what does Bill Burr do with you? Bill, we go to barbecue. We learn French. We drive around. Oh we my see God. the sights. Oh you well, see? that's why I'm third wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that stuff, man. When do you do you ever see me during the day? Ne- I've, I don't know what you look like during the day. <laughs> <laughs> do you know why? Because you're sleeping all exactly. day. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, because I have shit to do. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, being, but being on the road with you is the funniest, so that's why I do it oh, for the stories. Oh, that's really you know? nice. And so I'm mean to you, you said. You're before very mean to me. Why? How? I remember one time you were just looking at me and you go, ugh. You have the ugliest, tiniest head. Wow. <laughs> you said the opposite of me. You're like, the you're such an alien. Head. You do have a very you, large head. Extremely large. Your head looks yeah. like a fucking brown peanut. <laughs> <laughs> so tiny. And it's like yeah. in a tiny bun tonight. Like, too. I just want to eat it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. I yeah. try, yeah. But her proportions are all petite. I'm all very small. Really? She's 46 years pounds. <laughs> Did you say 46, 46 years, years old <laughs> and pounds? <laughs> do I look old? No, you're not. Are you really 46? No, I'm 32. She looks great. But you really need to eat something. I Listen, mean, guys, I eat more than most people. Yeah. You do? I do. I, I don't know. I go out to eat. Oh, no, tell I've people. I've been sick. Tell people my, my rule. My, my rule. Okay, this is really mean, too. Well, not as much now, but when and I Jeremiah used to be really And Jeremiah Watkins, also uh, somebody that opens for me, it really hates that I do this. Yes. But go ahead. Let okay. me start with something sweet. Okay. Bobby's the most generous person ever. He takes everybody out to dinner. He treats everyone. He's very sweet. See he babe? orders for the table. Uh-huh. Very alpha, See, okay? Babe? But then very alpha, yeah. when you're broke and you're on the road and you just want a piece of pizza late at night in your own hotel room, that's not allowed. You can't take the leftovers. Mm-mm. Bob will not allow it. Oh, yeah. He mm-hmm. made me shove a box of pizza down a trash can <laughs> that wasn't big enough for the pizza box. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. made me smush it, crush it in Yeah. while he was yelling at me. And Jay, tell me why. Because it's his food that he bought and ordered. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's Have we Papa. talked about this before? Oh, no. He he does the same thing with me. I'm not allowed We've to ever take. I love leftovers. Why it's do like you the do best. that? Because it's I mean, I'll tell you why. Thing. No, it's not a power thing it's at all. Power. No, 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 it's not a power thing. Listen to me, Gilbert, <laughs> yeah. right now. Listen to me right now, okay? Is if I pay for the meal, mm-hmm. it's mine. Oh. Okay. It's an Indian gift. Is that correct? No, yeah. it's not even an Indian gift. No, that? it's not even an Indian gift. How fucking dare you? Because he right? doesn't take it back. He just forces you to throw it away. So but when you <laughs> start packing up my food and you're going to go, hey, I'm going to take it to my hotel room, I say no because <laughs> it's not yours. Oh, man. Right, Bryce? Right. So it's Price. like this. It's like um, if I buy you – it's shoes are a little different. Okay. <laughs> shoes are different. I've bought people shoes. I bought he you bought shoes. Me shoes. Oh, he bought wow. me shoes because we were in Chicago. F- it was on my birthday, and I was really sad and lonely. Because then he took me to the mall and bought me some shoes. Really, I sweet. think you got um, Fahim some shoes. Too. I got Fahim He's and Mar some yeah. shoes. Right? Shoes are a little different because um, <laughs> what am I going to do with them? I mean, I, they, it's their <laughs> size, right? Take them off while you're totally sleeping. Different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel yeah, like I if I get back. you shoes, I can take it back at any time. Ooh, that's yes, bad. I can. I bought that's it. That's an Indian. That's literally <laughs> the definition of Indian giver. It's not. I don't even know. I'm not Indian. You're an Indian yeah. giver. Yeah, yeah. What is Indian giver? I've never You're heard of that. You're a Korean before. giver. Taking well, back what you give to somebody or controlling. Yeah, but I have the never taken back shoes. <laughs> I'm happy now. I'm going to hope. But I'm not. just saying, theoretically and philosophically, you could. I could. Okay. All right. Yeah. So with the food, mm-hmm. you, it stays at the table. All right. Yeah. 
You know what this bitch does? Mm -hmm. I mean, my beautiful girlfriend. (laughs) (laughs) She gets, she goes, oh, I'm going to take meat back from Korean barbecue. Okay. All right. It's because I want to give it to homeless people right, right. on our way home. And it stays in the car food. for three months. Because he doesn't allow me to get out the car. <laughs> so each oh, time, no. like, stop, stop right here, stop right here. He just zooms past them. <laughs> Bobby, you know. She, uh, okay, I'm going to say this. A homeless person doesn't want Korean barbecue. They want they anything. Do. They, they don't. Want they anything. want crack. <laughs> But they can trade food. They can trade food with someone yeah. for maybe a cigarette that then can be traded for a razor blade that then can be traded for cash mm. for drugs. Currency. Chris yeah. D'Elia, one time, I gave a homeless guy 20 bucks. And he kind of grabbed me and goes, you know what he's going to do with that money? I go, what? He goes, he's going to buy crack. Why did you do that? Chris? Because, yeah, I, I said, because I don't have crack on me. <laughs> you would have given him crack. I would have given him crack. If I could give him crack, <laughs> right, then how, first of all, let me say this. How happy would the homeless person be? Well, He'd I be mean, so how happy. How do you know that's their choice well, of yeah, drugs? The, you, you have to get... Cra- you gotta, it's well, whatever specific. drug you they read want. read them right. Yeah, whatever drug they want. They're shaky. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, could I have some... Ch-? No, but I have crack. <laughs> They'd be like, are you Jesus? Are they Asian as well? <laughs> 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 There's not a lot of... <laughs> well, Jade, I'm sorry. my homeless I, impressions aren't good. I'm and sorry. You don't have to I have a question for you, Jade. Yeah. Yeah. Has he been wearing this god-awful ponytail all weekend? No, but I kind of like it. I like it. But I was, so I feel like he's kind of copying my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'm Tony Thornburg, and everybody knows that. Yeah. When I, uh, yes. I went. Do you know who Tony Thornburg is? I have no idea. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. okay. I'll pull it up. I'd suck his dick so bad. Mm-hmm. This guy right here, Tony Thornburg, is a half Asian, half Swedish male model. Oh, yeah. And I will suck his dick so fast. You know who's the hottest Asian guy? The guy on The Walking Dead. The Asian guy on The Walking no, Dead. He's Steven so Young. Yeah. He's no, so sweet. He's and he not. can sing. You see his skin in, in real oh, he's life gorgeous. is like porcelain. And his, his fiance is gorgeous. We sang karaoke with him in Japan. I was like, Nick. You were in Japan with Steven? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, man. This guy is a villain. What do you mean? Tony. Look at this guy. Look at how cute he is. I mean, come on, dude. He's beautiful. Yeah. I, you guys can't see him, but real long face. It looks like it's melting, but just enough. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. right enough. Of people <laughs> don't know so who's who in this photo. Let me see. No, people can no, tell. No, no, they don't. No, see, is it, which one's Stephen Yu? <laughs> the one that fucked. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and Maggie is the one that yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, which one is the one on the right? No, it's the one in back. Oh. Can you post that photo along with the episode, please? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. Stephen Yu and just, I are identical. He's so sweet. He is a sweet guy. Really good guy. And um, so Tony Thornburg's my man. But um, what else bothers you about me? <laughs> this is what the, by the way, this is what the show is. Yeah, this is what the show is. Just let it all out. Let it all Jade, out. Now's your time. Well, I know for a fact that you wear the same <laughs> pair of underwear the entire weekend. That's mm-hmm. cool. Whoa. True. The entire weekend. Really? I yeah. can I can corroborate. Yeah. Come on, man. I don't. Is that me? Who's that you? No wow. Oh, you. oh I'm professional. Yeah. Sorry, it's Nick Rutherford. <laughs> is it Nick? Oh, Whoa, well, let's talk about Nikki Rutherford. <laughs> So Jade's boyfriend um, is Nikki Nick Rutherford. I he's call him po- Nikki when he's bad. I love Nick. <laughs> and Nick is um, a part of a group called Good Neighbor. Mm-hmm. They're well, a sketch group, yeah. correct? Well, they don't do a lot. Of, they haven't done a lot of stuff together in a while. I know, but three of the four Good Neighbors got on SNL. Yeah. And then Nick got on as a writer. Uh huh. And Nick is one of my. He's my favorite Good Neighbor, by the way. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, and I love him. He's really talented, and um. You know, I don't want to talk about Can it. Can I tell an embarrassing story about him? Yeah, go ahead. When he was little and he would do something really bad, his mom would go, it's okay, it's not you, it's Billy. Whoa. So he has this weird, <laughs> so he grew up whoa, 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 whoa. weird. What? Yeah, it's fucked up. Who's wait, wait, Billy? Who's it's Billy? It's just like his, it's like when he's bad, he's Billy. Oh, his alter ego? Yeah, and oh, his mom was my. like, it's okay, it's not that's you. So it's like a Dr. Good. Jekyll yeah, thing? yeah. She was like, "It's not you, it's Billy." Yeah, so that's how you create up, a superhero. I'm like, I'm like, "Get Billy so. out of here!" And I don't need <laughs> Billy here. And his mom fed him into that whole mindset. <laughs> he was a kid actor. She really loved him, you know. So. Oh, he was a kid actor. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a really great way to not hold your kid accountable and not hold yourself accountable. Either. Sure. As a, as I didn't. Make, I didn't make a bad boy. I did yeah. yeah. Billy. That's your dad's side yeah. coming out. <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. You're. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to well, my kids. Well, we're gonna raise serial like killers yeah. for sure. Oh, uh, but tell- not Billy Mongo. No, he'll Mongo. Be. That's Mongo. <laughs> no, he'll That's be Mongo gloves. the Destroyer. Hey, Papa. I, hey, Papa. <laughs> yeah, and Papa, then when I they stole, grow up, I stole candy, Papa. <laughs> it's okay. That's not you, Jim. It's Mongo the Destroyer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're the yeah, best yeah. Papa. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And then 20 years later, what happens? I kill someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on the news, Mongo the Destroyer <laughs> yeah, yeah. burns down half of New York. Oh, wait. Yeah. I have another horrible thing you did to me on the road. Okay, okay. so... I really wanted to, I really wanted to submit 30 minutes to Comedy Central, right? I had this perfect 30. I was really proud of it. Yeah. And I did all weekend and always something went wrong. Finally Sunday rolls around. I do the perfect set. Wow. I can tell that nobody crossed the camera. I'm just so excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tell Bobby, "Finally, I get this I got this thing." Yeah. He's like, "Oh, you're going to be so mad at me. You're going to be so <laughs> mad at me." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, "Why, Bob? What did you do, Bob?" And then it turns out he took the camera during my set <laughs> into the dressing room, filmed his ass and his balls, yeah, yeah. and then put the camera back. Yeah. I mean, See. at a point where I could not cut the set together. <laughs> For your Comedy Central. Yeah. Because they would have really liked it. I think, minutes, I think huh? you would have got a half hour special because of I it. Did the camera. I have it, and I <laughs> never will. <laughs> and another thing I did to her was the thing that I did with your Twitter and your Instagram. Yeah, the BuzzFeed a, BuzzFeed picked it up. Yeah, he, he she was on stage, up, yeah. and I think it was Brea or something like that. And I um, she didn't lock her phone, right? <laughs> so right. I showed which her I do now Twitter and her Instagram follow, followers my butthole and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it was the most likes I had gotten at the time, so I was oh, pretty wow. excited. That was a good hack. Backfired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, another thing that happened this weekend was um, when I was okay. So at the end of my shows, I do a little dance. I get into my underwear. I do a little dance, and I flip, you know, on a guy. On stage, <laughs> what did the guy in the second show do? <laughs> he like ate your foot. He like put his oh. your entire foot oh. in his mouth. Now, oh. now let me ask you something. <laughs> oh my God, Go, Gilbert, tell people what's wrong with my feet. Again. I won't even touch his foot with my hand. Sir, yeah, if you're listening dis- to this, yeah. yeah, Bobby has fungus <laughs> yeah. on his foot. Not just your regular no. fungus yeah. either. Yeah. This is like the guy is dying. He's dying. He's, He's dying. probably dying right he now. Has, he has AIDS. Yeah, yeah. He has foot AIDS. He has foot AIDS in his mouth. He's he sucked as my foot. And then you know what I did? I bent my foot so that it would k- get out of his mouth. He still tasted it? Yeah. And he, Were he, you uncomfortable? Yeah. Wow. That's because very I, I, In my head, I'm like, oh, this, this guy, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that he could possibly die. <laughs> you should send him a gift certificate or something or some coconut water. He, yeah. <laughs> he could die. Oh he could like aspergillus in his lungs and get like pneumonia and die. Oh my God. God. Can he really? No, he can't. <laughs> Jesus, Kalila. Oh my God. Kalila, you are dark I, and I, I like just, it. I just had a fear. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, what's the worst thing that can happen if you sucked on my, um, my, my green foot? Nothing. Your mouth has a lot of like it kills. Mm. It has such powerful enzymes. It kills everything. That, That's I mean, he is. might get a cold. He might get a virus. So you could get he that. Might lose an eye. He might he lose might a sight. Lose a, yeah. Can you get gingivitis from it? No. <laughs> oh. Gingivitis from bacteria. Nobody knows how gingivitis uh, really I starts. I don't know how gingivitis <laughs> works. How does gingivitis work? Just bacteria not flossing yeah. enough so your gums get inflamed and so they get puffy. Gin- so he could have sucked on it. Yeah. Or just sucking a foot, you could probably get gingivitis. Yeah. But you know what I like about white dudes? They do like they take it to the next level. Because they don't want to be embarrassed. They want to be in control. Because right? like they, oh. they want to one up me. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. When they're like. When oh, they're like yeah. dancing, mm-hmm. you're like, come on, dude, just fight it. It's funnier. It's like, funny when yeah. they fight it. It's funny I when, like they're, it when they're uncomfortable. Yeah, me yeah. too. When they're like, uh. yeah. It's funny when he gets body slammed. Yeah. yeah what? I've seen a couple of dudes drop I haven't him. been. You have? Yeah. Were you there when? The bl- when the black dudes oh. picked you up and oh, you yeah, like yeah. fell against Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's so funny watching it. Oh, I love it. There was it. this one, um, I think it was in Ontario improv. Yeah. Um, this one Asian guy who was so down and so loud. He's like, pick me, pick me. So Bobby brings him up. Yeah. And as soon as he realizes what he's in for, he just gets up, runs out of the club, <laughs> like leaves his friends there. Like he's just completely humiliated. He's like from Vietnam. and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So here's another thing I want to talk about. And we're going we're gonna to tiptoe through it. Okay. We'll tip that through it, and then you'll reveal what you want to reveal and what you don't want to re- reveal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I have a little problem with uh, a female comedian from Chicago. Ooh, beef. I like. Is it Twitter beef or like beef. real life IRL okay, now, beef? You have nothing to do with what I'm about to say, okay. so you can you stay Just out of it. it. Okay. But what's the girl's name? Who you're about to say? Yeah. You say it. I forgot her name. That's why I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> I smoke a lot of pot. You were high the whole time. I smoke a lot of pot, and I did smoke tonight after my Zumba class. Okay, so, so there is a girl that I I, I did um, the Chicago Improv, and I had this big ups to Tony. <laughs> yeah, big ups. <laughs> Why doesn't she remain nameless? So that way we can really talk shit. 
without okay, yeah, ever yeah, yeah. naming her. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, her. so I don't right. know her name. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So she, um, <laughs> first for us, she showed up. She was sweating like a lot. Like my <laughs> pussy is sweating somehow. <laughs> I don't know how it's happening. She was hosting my shows. This is a couple years ago, and she showed up to one show wearing a ballroom gown. No, no, no. What was it? Oh, you're fucking dumb. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We show up, and we think she's the manager because she's like very dressed up. Like yeah. she's wearing like a night dress yeah. like it's shiny it's satin and she's wearing like pearls i think yeah mm-hmm. and i do tricks to my features mm-hmm. i don't jade has not because she's i don't know maybe it's no you've done shit you have the thing where they would call my name and you wouldn't let me go on stage yeah do that yeah yeah, yeah. i do yeah. that a lot but guess what i what? can do any club people don't do that to me now so it's i'm a lot better <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, exactly like, right i mean you i'm trying to teach these kids well i started at the comedy store and things yeah like that and you're and you're hardened so you're yeah. in, you're into hazing yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, some of the African-American comics like Doc Willis, I would say stuff like um, you have to say yabba dabba do 10 times up front but without so justifying. it's like a joke yeah. and like yeah. lighthearted. It's mm-hmm. never like if mean. it was weird. So what happened with this girl? So then I go, um, hey, just can you not dress like that? <laughs> we were kind of we were because kind of mean up front. We were joking. No, but we it's, didn't know. it's my show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It's my show. And it's like I'm just saying that like. You know, it's like, you know, when Radiohead plays, I'm not saying that I'm nowhere. I mean, obviously, it's like a completely different, you know what I mean? He's Wait, comparing I'm sorry. Can we, yeah, back it up. <laughs> Pretty sure you mean when like Blink-182 or... Yeah, yeah, when Blink-182, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hoobastank. Hoobastank. When some local band... Hoobastank. Like, Hoobastank. Hoobastank. Oh, let's go Hoobastank. Who was 311 perform? Who does Chad Kroger play for? Hey, Nickelback. Gilbert. Nickelback. Hey, Nickelback, really? Yeah. <laughs> Nickelback. Look at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Bobby Lee, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go Hooba Stank. Um, <laughs> they get to choose who yeah. opens for mm-hmm. them and stuff, right? Because mm-hmm. it's a, if someone is headlining, they, it's, it's the whole show is revolved around the headlining show. So I just go, oh, can you just dress it down a bit? It's just to my audience, you're going up like, you know, in a gown, you know, just wear some jeans and a T-shirt and we're cool. And she just was completely offended by it. She's like, ah. She's very offended. Yeah, very offended. Oh, Next visibly. night. Oh, How yeah. did you say it, though? What do you mean? I, I mean, really did you remember. did you establish a rapport before you told her, bitch, don't dress like that? No. But okay, Bobby, <laughs> no. I would. She didn't know who he was. And I, I could see how <laughs> she could have been like. Me too. Oh, but she was very dressed up. I really, I thought she was the manager. She yeah, was I like she in was high heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if she was, you know, what if that's her thing? It is her thing. Oh, it okay. is her thing. Yeah. But oh, not anymore as much. No, I, I, I saw her a couple of months ago. And we did a show in the Bell Room. And I completely forgot what she had looked like. And so she was hosting the show. And then afterwards, I'm in the green room upstairs in the comedy yeah. store. And she walks up like tiptoeing. She's like. Do you remember me? And I go, no. <laughs> and then she goes, yeah, I was that girl from Chicago. And she was wearing jeans. Yeah, she, she, she doesn't, doesn't do that dress anymore. up like right. that anymore because she realized that it's stupid. Anyway, so <laughs> cut to, so then Sunday night, right? <laughs> Sunday night, she leaves the club and I think she hates me. Fri- yeah, Friday the first night, we think we're mean to her. We feel bad. We feel bad. And then Sunday night, I'm with the, um, the sound guy. And then he's really cool, dude. Really cool. Girl. Yeah, she texts guy. the sound guy saying, no, 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 guy. no. This is what happened. We texted all of him, her and somebody else. Hey, we're all going to go to dinner. All oh, right. Because we felt really bad. We, we wanted bad. to show her that she, we thought she was cool and she was it, nice. Yeah. And then she texted, she texted him. She meant to text just the sound guy back. But mm-hmm. she texted oh, all everybody. Us. That's right. That's where that's what happened. Yeah. 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 And she said that that Bobby Lee is. She said, poisonous. no way. I would never want to hang out with them. They're taxing. I think she might have said and talentless. But I don't I don't think yeah, exactly yeah, that. She, but she did. She said taxing. She was like, yeah, I yeah. never want to hang out with them. They're taxing. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Um, that's we fine. We're taxing. I am taxing. Did you guys respond? N- no. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I feel like you would. No, no, no. I, feel like I called. No, that's how the sound guy. I call he I made him call her on his phone and then I talked she to her. She came down. No, we talked to her in we did? real life. Yeah. I don't know. She the came story. down. We were downstairs in that <laughs> weird area. Yeah. And she came down and she was she was really apologetic and we were like It's fine. It's okay, let's yeah. go, let's go. I would she, you know what? In that in that situation, I would keep it real. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry I sent that, but that's how I feel. I wouldn't apologize because like right. that's exactly how she I feel. She said, No, I'll come out with you guys and then she disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then you told because me that's flip flopping. What she yeah. did is is really yeah. not being true to her. Like, but then what you told me feels. this weekend was is that she has a friend, yes, who's kind of popular and she's coming up, right? A very yeah. good female comic mm-hmm. that um 
doesn't like us because of that incident. By well, that incident. So she's yeah, are you paying the price it. because of Bobby's? Pay- I've been paying the price for years. For years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. blacklisted on shows in New York. Yeah. Like because people go, yeah, people go, oh, Jade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and then I go, what? What do you know? What do you know? And and this story has just been totally blown but it out of proportion. So minor. Oh, it's so that. minor. And, on, and she talked about it on a podcast, she told me. Yeah, so I invite this girl to coffee because I feel bad. I want to clear the air, right? Mm-hmm. And over something that over by the trivial? way didn't happen to her, and she has no idea what happened. I mean, yeah. what has 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 she experienced nothing in this life for that to affect her so greatly? Yeah. Well, I think it is. I think some people want a reason to hate other people, and she just found that because and you know she latched I mean? onto she it. She latched on. Yeah, like, I I had her over. She was I was really sweet. She was cold. I gave her a scarf from Gap. It was a very expensive one that I like. <laughs> you're Girl, going, you already you're doing really too much. going way. I'm far. sorry too much. Yeah, yeah. And then this thing came up, and she was so pissed. And, and yeah, and then and I've tried. I've tried to be like, hey, let's just get coffee. And that's very unlike me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm vicious. I'm Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, she's Brazilian. And, and I was just like, let's smoke a joint. But it infuriates me because, I mean, you can call it's me a, a lot bummer. of things. I am a fat, lazy, you know, I mm-hmm. I sometimes lie sometimes. for no reason. <laughs> you know, I, I have my character defects. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I feel like I'm pretty good to my openers. And um, I've helped a lot of people mm-hmm. in comedy, I feel. But um, so she's like, you know, spreading these rumors that I'm like, you know what I mean? psychotic yeah. and crazy poisonous. and poisonous I don't like Ooh, it I love beef like this, I, this no, East Coast I West Coast guys? I really do hate it because we really <laughs> now okay maybe thinking back like what if we were just horrible to her and we don't remember like is that a possibility okay but in the world of comedy don't you think that banters like that happen every day all with the strangers time, all the time all the time and you would you would think that this girl is from New York she yeah. would have a little bit of She's thicker Chicago. skin yeah Chicago or Chicago yeah, even yeah. more I mean LA people are a little bit of pussies but over there in yeah. Chicago you know you would think that she would it. have a little bit more lacquer to beef. her yeah I don't want any beef I want it to be fun that's why I do what I that's why I do comedy for a living yeah you know what I mean yeah can you hear the dog yeah that's yeah probably that's yeah. ambiance yeah, but do people hate it? I, think they I mean, whatever. Let's care. just power through it. <laughs> it we have a fucking real. puppy. What? Yeah, you got a you got a puppy. It's real. Uh, I know. We had a puppy lady come over this morning. Mm-hmm. What is a puppy lady? I don't know. A trainer. <laughs> okay, I call, them, I call them puppy ladies. Uh, you and I had to wake up and oh god. You had to wake up at noon. And god forbid. Oh my god, Bobby. For an hour okay? and a half of her listening and listening to her half asleep about you know what I needed to be doing. We're about to get tenants. They have dogs. I'm so scared. I'll just kill him in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also met Jade's uh, Brazilian parents. And oh, yeah. You know what's great? They were about, so happy. You know what's great, baby? What's great when you can meet, like I've met Adam Ray's parents. Yeah. Yeah, I've met Fahim's, not his dad, because he doesn't like the fact that Fahim's doing stand-up, but like I've met his oh. brother and his cousins. I just really like meeting um, comics families because you get to see why they are the way they are. Mm. And Jade's parents are so cool, so oh, educated, wow. and they're Brazilian, and they're just really nice people. And your dad is very funny, yeah, and you can fun. just tell by when he smiles, his eyes crinkle. Do they have accents? My mom does. Yeah, my mom, my dad Kick. doesn't. Acai. Yeah. Acai. 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 But she's, she's Brazilian. Sweet. I wish I could get my mom's accent down. I can't do it. Why? I don't know. Try it. Please, just, please try it. Yeah, try. I did. Why? Why do you do the faces? They are so ugly when you do the faces. <laughs> yeah, that's, really good. that's dead on. That's good. Yeah. I don't know what your mom sounds like. That's yeah, good. she sounds like a Donatella, like an impression of Donatella, you know? <laughs> Is it difficult being with a comedian, like living with them? Because you've been Sometimes. with Nick for like nine years, correct? Some, no, six, six and a years. half, oh, almost seven. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's hard. I yeah. want. I want to say it's not, but sometimes I do feel like there's some projects I really want to work on that he gets to work on, and I feel jealous sometimes. I'm being honest. It's well, hard. he was a writer at SNL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is a and very vice talented versa, kid. I think, very know? good stand up. I've had him open for me too. We help each other, but good. sometimes it is hard because you know you have your own insecurities, and they get kind of fla- flared up. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. And what What was your experience? Because I know that your one of your ex girlfriends is was also a comedian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it? Some, Oops, did sorry. you feel that way? Um. <sighs> well, you guys run different Without levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Is is I feel like Jade and Nick are on the same level. We're on the same. Yeah. You know, Jade's gotten some stuff. Nick has gotten some stuff, and I feel like they're more of a power couple. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, with with the girl that I she's still doing comedy, and I hung out with her last night. With I mean Sunday night with I Sarah. Seen her in years. Sarah is her name with yeah. really Margaret Cho. She's very talented. Very talented. Very yeah. funny. And um. But we also are in AA together. Yeah. 
So you I don't think two, you're supposed to talk about. I mean, I'm, we're not. <laughs> he's done it so many times. Time. He's done it so many time, times. Yeah. We're not That's on all he does. We're not. <laughs> and um, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I think that, and she's also, I don't know, she's a great girl though, and I think we ended in a a kind way. It wasn't ugly. We just kind of, you know, naturally Unlike just you. split apart. <laughs> I'm and, kidding. Yeah. And then some relationships I've had, you've had, to, I've had to be in a, a cold and. A, like Christine, you know Christine. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I had to uh, end it pretty cold. That Vegas trip was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I think. You Why told was me it about crazy? It was just a lot of. Well, the first time we went, it was for Polly Shore's, <laughs> like, Showtime show. What yeah. was it? Oh my god, yeah, that was a fucking. But I wasn't there show. for the show for comedy. I was there doing promo work, and I was so broke that I crashed in the hotel room with them the same weekend. Yeah. And I was waking up like six a.m. working till six p.m. in like high heels. With like who was Asian on that? men. It was April Benji? Macy, Benji. No, who was performing though? Oh, um, that, oh, oh, that, who's that really girl? funny Asian girl. Yeah, what's her name? Oh my God, why is she She's in the Apatow me? movies. She's so funny. Um, She's oh, on yeah. Love too. Charlene Yee. Yeah. Charlene Yee, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Filipino. so sweet. Is she? Oh my God, I have the best story from that trip. Uh, so I, <laughs> oh my God, yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah. this? Oh, uh, you're not going to you walking down the street? Yes. So the Palms and Rio, the two hotels are like pretty close together, walking distance, but far apart, like a 15 minute walk in Vegas, which is... Uh, miles. She used to live there. Yeah, yeah. miles. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cold. We're out one night. We get wasted. Everyone's partying. Me and Dave, one of the guys who I went to college with, have this like wild night where we're like kind of kissing, kind of nod, just like having fun, pretending we're getting married and looking at rings, like all, up all night. We sleep in the same bed, fully clothed, like purse still on. Like, wake up. <laughs> he wakes up. He's like, "Oh fuck, I have a ride. I have, a, I have to take this ride to the airport with Charlene and Bobby. I have to go." And he like runs out. And I run out and I'm wearing like a tiny dress from the night before, like a tiny purse. And they're in the car and they drive off and I'm walking from the Rio to the Palms or whatever, one yeah. to the other. And they drive by me as I'm taking this like walk of shame. It's freezing outside and they're, and Bobby just sticks his finger out the window and just like, ha ha, laughing at me. You remember this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, and then I get to the hotel and I realize that I had Benji's fucking Mercedes parked at the, I could have just fucking taken the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was that the was worst. I, yeah, I left it right in your Is that face. the trip where your brother went to? Yes. Steve is there. To yeah. this day, Steve is a house Jay. I love With Steve. hearts in his eyes, I though. I love him. We bonded that. Well, we used to have lunch all the time. Yeah. We both lived in Hollywood. Well, did you, you didn't stay in the same room as Steve, did you, Stevie? Weeby? No, I stayed with uh, Nicole Booty. Oh yeah, Booty. yeah, 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 yeah. He's under the impression that I think you guys had a love connection. We did. We bonded. <laughs> Wait, we Steve. bonded. <laughs> we bonded. You think you bonded, but yeah. he thinks it was like real yeah, love. Yeah, no, we yeah, fell. Yeah, we yeah. did. We fell in love. Yeah, we fell in love. I see. Steve's okay. a good kid. He he does that a lot. Yeah, you know? so cute. He he drew me my favorite portrait. Ever. I have it framed at my house. Oh, you do? Yeah. He, he, he drew a picture of you? Yeah, and I have like a beard in it. I oh. love it. <laughs> <laughs> that was just probably shading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I love about it. It's so bad. It's yeah. so good. It's a, a remarkable how long I've known you, but you see, to me, you're still a kid. I'm still a kid. Yeah. And we talked about also um, just the crushing when Manhattan Love Story got canceled. Crushing mm. depression. Yeah. I watched it. You did. I like that girl. The Annalie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. I liked Annalie. She was a lot. in that um, Steve Carell movie. Yes. She's been a yeah. lot of. Mo she's like had a really incredible career. But like people <laughs> don't realize that you, you test. I mean, I'm, I hate when we talk about show business on the show, but I have yeah. to. Where you you know audition for something, they call you back, then they call you back again, and then you have to do a studio test, yeah. and then you do a network test, and before the network test, they tell you how much you're making. Right. Yeah, you sign something that says. So you says, see the money. So you see the money. So you're already you. buying things in your in your head. It's yeah. like ridiculous amounts. Psychologically, of money. psychologically, yeah. it's just like what? Like my life could change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling a baby. <laughs> yeah. This is all I've ever wanted. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then you actually get the show, and then you do a pilot, which rarely gets picked up. So you're winning all these little lotteries, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And the final lottery is it for this thing to stay on for seven years. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I can't that's even imagine. The, I know. Yeah. That's And you're there. Mm -hmm. So I was on animal practice. You had done, yeah. you know, um, Manhunt Love Story. And you're now, you have one final hurdle. And then it gets canceled. Now, I understand that, you know, boo-hoo, mm -hmm. right? But to us, mm -hmm. it's 
crushing. It's it is crushing. boohoo. It, I would cry. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible the disappointment, and the, nobody cares. Everybody's like, "All right, on to the next." Like, yeah, it's so yeah. crazy. Uh, the like, network is like, "We're moving on." That was a dime yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah. 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 disposable. You guys yeah, are absolutely disposable. disposable. And you're working together with these people. They become your family. You're, mm-hmm. I was with these people for half a year every single day. Shooting in New York, all day. Yeah, I yeah. moved to New York. Mm-hmm. I had to get an apartment in New York. Yeah, buy all the furniture, everything. Yeah. yeah. And it just ended like, hey, it's done. Yeah. Sorry. And it was everywhere. The cancellation was really po- It was the first one canceled of the year. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And it, you cried, you, you said. For many years. <laughs> since. Yeah. It's been two years now. It's done. For um, me, I was with um, Betsy Sadara. I love Betsy. I love Betsy. So Betsy and I are sitting there on set. For during animal the day, practice. For animal practice. Mm-hmm. And um, the Russo brothers come on. Now, the Russo brothers directed... The second and third community. No, Civil War, yeah. like yeah, the, yeah, the, the um, War, yeah. Captain America Captain movies. America, oh, wow! Yeah. So now they're action, and they're, they're yeah. amazing movies. They got rated high, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. And so they had moved on, but at that time, they had done Community and they had done Animal Practice, right? Yeah. So the Russo brothers walk together, Joe and Anthony, on set. Already, I know there's something wrong because you never saw them together. Mm. And they, they rarely <laughs> came to never, set. Yeah. <laughs> it's like on Love, you never person. see Judd. Judd only comes once mm-hmm. a year. You know what I mean? And yeah. then you never see him again, right? And you know that it's a 911 situation is, uh. is if, you know, the Russo brothers showed up. As soon as they walked up on stage, I turned to Betsy and I said, we're getting canceled. Oh, you just and she, her lip trembled. And she's like, she's so sweet. She's like, what? I got, we're getting canceled. And when they made the announcement, right, Betsy Sedara's head is facing the ground, right? You can see people just disheveled. Me? Tears. Oh, no. <laughs> coming down because I hadn't worked since Mad TV and that was like a (laughs) six year hiatus yeah Yeah. and the Rolling Stones had done an article saying that this is their last chance these actors Uh, that's That's an award award. yeah I have it I still have it so uh, they said every single Mm -hmm. Tyler Labine just Justin Kirk Bobby Lee this is their last chance. What? False, because Tyler Labine still had. I know, I understand yeah, that, but so that's but yeah. it was true on my part. Wait, wait, I want to know uh, how was the how did the monkey take the news? Well, he was just ah, I'm like, doing Hangover Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's busy. He's, He's like, busy. I better get get yeah, on my plane. Yeah. How did you find out? I was I came home after working all day. It was like six thirty L A time. Mm. I was on my couch and my agent called and said it's over. It's done. Mm. I go, what's done? I have no idea. I like yeah. literally didn't even. My brain just didn't. And it was my boyfriend had just started SNL, which you got. I don't know if you guys have heard rumors, but it's yeah. the most intense, like yeah. all involving. Like he was spending the night there almost every night. Like it's you know. So I didn't have. It's the most insane. <laughs> it's insanely schedule. miserable. Miserable. <laughs> miserable. It's miserable. Yeah. Work environment. And people of all knew time. the show got canceled. Nobody was was saying anything, but I could tell that. And mm-hmm. then there was a joke actually once on SNL about failed sitcoms. And nobody warned me, and we were all watching the show, and it got like a big <laughs> laugh in the writer's room, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's you know it's a it's a devastating thing, but and then and then you go to your regular life and you do the road, and then you do these you know you play some some rooms that seat two hundred seats, and you can only get forty people in the room. That's yeah. Right. And, you know, like the club manager and, the, you know, are like, they're all depressed because they're making, no one's making any money. <laughs> Bobby Freaky and Sons are like, yeah. And you're in the back. Horrible. You're in the back, right? Contemplating suicide or like some sort of thing, you know? Also, this club didn't have a bathroom we could use oh, unless you crossed the entire bathroom. audience. <laughs> yeah. You it to, was miserable. Was it like, is it like an old theater? It's an old theater yeah. with just a bunch of office chairs. That's <laughs> literally, I, Wait, I'm not what? exaggerating. It's a great room. It really is. It's huge. It's huge. It's called the Arlington Draft House, and it's family run, and um, I, I'm going to play it for the rest of my life if they have me. Yeah, my family was right there, so I was like, yes. They treat you so good, and they're like family. And um, the DC Improv I played, but they didn't want to pay me any money, so I moved on. And mm. Arlington Draft House are very generous and fair and that's all we want as performers yeah we and a want bathroom. to just be fit in a bathroom, in a bathroom. In the back. yeah we in didn't get a bathroom, bathroom in the back. Back. an outhouse yeah. 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 in a yeah. place where i can pee or take a poop right before i go on stage that's like my thing that i do and i both times i couldn't take a poop it was very difficult mm. for me oh yeah he does stand up 
Cool. Dabbles. Well, he dabbles yeah. in it. Three times. You can't dabble. He's done three yeah, times. You either go full force yeah, you go or not at all. I'm a sketch boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why did you say it like that? Yeah, I feel it like was every gross. time I tell people why I do it, so no, gross I feel like every stand up has been like, ah, you're a sketch boy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Why do you say sketch boy? I just people picture you going like, <laughs> give me a suggestion, and you got like tiny underwear on. Pineapple? <laughs> 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 I love I love, sketch fun. sketch is the hardest form. I feel like it's like impossible. Harder nothing is funny. Up. Yeah, nothing is fucking funny in sketch. It's so rare that I'm like, that's <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. But I feel like everyone is uh, the audience is so much more forgiving. They're way sure. forgiving you know, yeah. They laugh at everything. It's like, oh, they you had do. to put a wig on. I'll give it to yeah. them. Yeah, yeah but it's the, like every UCB <laughs> show I've gone, like people are just so on. supportive. But True. in stand up, you know, I've gone religious crickets. Well, because people go, I can do better than that. Yeah, always. Everybody thinks they can do stand up. Everybody. I know. I swear, it's a phenomenon. It is. But they don't do it. No, not everybody can do stand-up. That's yeah, yeah. why. Mm-hmm. And they try it. I love yeah. it. I love when people, dudes, mm-hmm. that go, yeah, I can do it. You know what I mean? No problem. And then they do it, and they eat a miserable death. Yeah. And I, I, I like watching it. Fuels you. It doesn't fuel me. It just makes me go, you know, just smile like, this is not, this is very difficult. Mm-hmm. You know? I always see those just, I... I feel like some of them would just be lifers. Like some, um, he persuaded me one year and th- thought it'd be a good idea for me to go to open mics. Yeah. So I begrudgingly you did. did. <laughs> you have to. But do he it. only yeah. did it just so I could feel the agony and yeah. misery and torture. <laughs> yeah. He had no other motive other than to just make well me described. miserable. Yeah. So I was miserable. Yeah. I went to a handful of them, but I f- I found that there are lifers that are life. That are open micers probably who probably been doing it for twenty years. Yeah, oh my god! Yeah, that's, that's my problem. They never stop, and they never. They but never maybe it's just is it an outlet or they just don't have? They're delusional. Like I can't tell. I think it's a mixture. I have the I have a problem. There's some delusions in mm-hmm. comedy yeah. where I in, in relationships <laughs> where I and this is a, a character defect of mine, and other comics know that I used to do it. Yeah. But you know, I used to like with my relationships, kind of I like I did to Kalila. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like with Christine, she has she's an accountant. Yes, yeah, right. She, and she's, she's like, very... I convinced her that she could be an actress. <laughs> <laughs> and so Fuck now, up, yeah, Bobby. yeah, yeah. That's and now up, she's Bobby. getting headshots. Bob, and then I got her an agent. Shy. I got her an agent, right? And then I remember going to an audition with her, a commercial audition, sitting there, and I had a revelation. Going, she shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> why do you? Do, why do you make them do it? I don't know why. It's a character. Defect. I call you're gonna this, have a child. I call this bullshit almost immediately, yeah. though. Yeah. I mean, there's, it's a power thing for him. Yeah. He yeah, wants. Like he's a fucking puppeteer. Yeah. He wants to know that he can just <laughs> put you in his palms and then wave you around to an audience. You know, and that's mean because I'm sure she really believed it because she cared about your opinion. your opinion. Yeah. And he does this a lot to yeah. a lot of open micers. Just keep doing it. You're really talented. And like, no, he fucking ate it. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and he tells him, quit your job, move to L.A. And you know, and he told. <laughs> He told one of his good friends, um, who's not doing yeah. very well in another field. He yeah. said, "Dude, just just do stand up, man. You're gonna be really great." Bobby, Bobby, I'm a surgeon. I'm a neurosurgeon. Right, Bob. He's the and his friends down. are always like, like, "I'm dead." <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you got this, man. Yeah. Something about your face. What are you yeah. saying? Why, why do, yeah, why do I do that? Because you want to see him it's fail, control. so you also pad. It's you know, control. it pads your ego too. And it pads my. I have ego. control. I have control problems too. Like Nick, I, like whenever Nick does stuff with his just his friends, I'm like, what about me? Like I want to be like involved in <laughs> I everything. Dance. Uh, I have like that's you my have that, control. That's your thing. Yeah, because I well, because I didn't speak English, and I was like, what are you guys talking about? So like when I was a kid, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, you came like Kalila. Yeah. Was raised in a different country. Yeah. How old were you when you I came was twelve? Oh, oh wow. so you spent a good amount yeah, of time. Yeah, I was a country. person already, you know. Yeah. And it was a weird transition. I never talk about it on stage. Like I joke about it a little, but it was. It was traumatic. What, what happened? So twelve years you lived in Brazil. Twelve years I lived in Brazil. What then my, area? Uh, in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. City, like in the building all the time. Dreamt about a pool, you know. Like I would see American movies and be like, "Whoa," you know. Yeah, it's like yeah. The American dream, and then we came to Virginia, and it was snowing. We had never seen snow before. We were like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. Wow, and incredible. all the kids in the neighborhood donated clothes to us because we didn't have like snow clothes. I just had this like Jets jacket. I remember very vividly. We had like shower caps yeah. on our feet. And this neighbor girl came over and offered us hot cocoa. 
And Coco means poop in Portuguese. So <laughs> oh. I just, my sister pushed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had to go apologize and blah, blah, blah. But oh, my God. We always kind of had a rivalry with that girl ever since then. How old were you, were you, baby? Um, I was almost 15. Oh, man. Very similar story, For except I came to yeah. from the Philippines. Yeah. Same thing. When I watched movies, I always thought, wow, America, America's the greatest candy. thing. Girl, I lived in, yeah. in, in the fucking pits of oh, L.A. No. In the ghetto. I, I thought I was living high class yeah i th- i thought i wrote home like we live next to a kentucky fried chicken <laughs> that's a big deal in the Philippines. it's such that's a big, big deal, deal. Yeah, and yeah, guess I was in what japan. i was in japan and guess <laughs> what they don't serve it with rice they serve it with potatoes <laughs> Pot- <laughs> potato. i have mean, air conditioning yeah, air condition <laughs> yeah the air con- they have big, air con- yeah. Yeah. yeah and it was um first week of november <laughs> yeah and we I had three sweaters on it's in LA because yeah. I was so fucking cold yeah, yeah. and yeah. I we lived in a cockroach infested one bedroom apartment oh but God. I thought to myself yeah. wow this is it guys we made it we did make it though I mean it's I think about this all the time like they they sat my mom sacrificed her literal life yeah in a cool place where she knew everybody mm-hmm. to like a place where you know people treated her like shit because she had an same accent. and yeah. my mom would work um 12 hour shift to get oh paid twenty dollars under the table for the whole day. Oh my god! As a caretaker, and they 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 treated her like shit. Yeah, they and did. she would take three buses to get there. Oh my god! And it was, but in her mind, it was so grand and big and something she could be proud of. And I never, freedom. yeah. I mean, I didn't have a car until I was twenty three, even because I just yeah. had a bus pass my yeah, whole life. Yeah, but pr- I never thought to myself, "Wow, I'm I'm not doing well." I yeah. always felt thankful. Yeah. Like, you know, this is okay. Like, we're living okay. Yeah, you came from a different country. Yeah. My People sister... don't understand how big of a thing exactly. that is. Yeah. We, live, we had yeah. a pull-out couch for my sister and I. My yeah. parents slept on the floor, but I still thought this is grand. Yeah. It, it doesn't occur yeah, to you. You, you get from, fucking... You but then... You, but you come know. from Bud Island. <laughs> You know, so yeah, anything's you don't know. good after yeah. Mud Island. So when I hear people and their yeah. fucking first world problems, yeah, it, it's it, true. It, it really I, wears on me. I know our family always like kind of slept in the same rooms in hotel mm-hmm. room. We just didn't understand that people didn't do that. Right. We just wow. didn't yeah. get it. Yeah. It was because so, and also we're so physical too. That's another mm-hmm. weird thing that was like people are like, why are you hugging me? Why are you t- yeah. touching me? Like, you hold hands with your family, your yeah, mom, yeah. dad, sister, everybody. Yeah. I kiss my mom in the mouth. Yeah. It, it's it's. <laughs> It's true. We're like, well, Lesbos, you know? Wow. Yeah. That's I shower strange. with my sister. I shower with my sister. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He thinks it's not it's, okay. It's lesbians and, and incest. No, it's not. If you look in the dictionary. It's very, very sexual. <laughs> it's very what sexual. What dictionary yeah, has yeah, that yeah. in yeah. it? The urban dictionary. The urban dictionary. <laughs> but that's... Two yeah, sisters showering together? <laughs> so you're <laughs> saying that that is from a different country. I think so. That kind yeah. Of like... My mom will come into the bathroom and pee while my yep. sister and I are both showering. And yes. you're good with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, my dad wouldn't come in there and take a shit while we're like showering. Yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because if mom, my yeah. dad was showering and my brother and I went, would walk in there, he would get out of the shower and then whip us with a towel. <laughs> naked. Like well, naked. you and your brother are sus together. So you know what? I would whip you too. What do you mean sus? I mean, I'm sus, like sus, suspicious. Like yeah. I would, I would probably. <laughs> you guys are tricky. Well, wait. Yeah. You guys are tricky. You're tricky pair, tricky. you know. Yeah. 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 It's too quiet. Uh, what cat are you fingering? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Jay. Whoa. Jay. But accurate. Yeah. Accurate. Very yeah. accurate, but whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's interesting that you guys had similar um, kind of. Um, you know, I have yeah, another friend named um, Anna, and she's from Romania, and yeah. very, very similar stories. Yeah. Um, I I don't want to say we're better, but I think that <laughs> there is a little bit of an element of having lived a little bit more, yeah. a little bit faster when you grow up in a country that's not particularly rich. Oh yeah. Um, and I think you see a lot of things that you don't ever, and I think that's a luxury to see those things very, at a very young age. Well, also they say your brain is capable of more things when you're um, when you speak more languages. It opens like parts of your brain that neurologically people that speak one language really will never hear. You speak Portuguese. I do fluently. Real, like say something. Que que eu falo em português? Eu falo completamente. Come on. Anderson Silva. Yeah. I agree with it. Anderson, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva. Anderson yeah. Silva. Anderson you know, Silva. It's, <laughs> it's another th- weird thing too about social, like socially, kids in other countries are like uh, more adult, more grown up and like developed. They do because they have to grow yeah. up fast. And then you come here and kids are like picking their nose and shit and eating it in fourth grade. You're like, what yep. is this? I yeah. was talking about maybe having sex last week. Yeah. You know yeah. what yeah. I mean? See, like, you know what I found too is, is that you're very sophisticated sexually i think i mean i had to grow up fast yeah are you sophisticated yeah, i feel yeah. like you are too I don't care. yeah talking about sex isn't taboo to mm. me yeah yeah 
like if, if I mean, I'll talk about if I have a hemorrhoid. I mean, I'm very open about stuff, Same, and I don't yeah. think it's a big like. Does Nick deal. eat your butthole? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, 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 what yeah, am yeah. I, a peasant? Good boy. <laughs> 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 I'm a plebe, a plebe. Yeah. yeah. And you like. He good, refuses. I refuse. Yeah. You've got to eat a little bit of butt, man. No, I'm yeah. a citizen. I'm a I'm citizen. An American citizen. I'm a civilian. First world. I have first world yeah. problems. Yeah, I know you got to eat some ass, man. Yeah. So you were like sexual early on. When did you lose yeah. your virginity? I was 16. Really in a closet. That's a real story. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Yeah, I have a joke about it, but it's real. But, it, man, I it don't want to. No, it didn't hurt. He had a. What? He, had, he had a vagina. He had, he had a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it till much later on. Uh, now, yeah, it was it was a gentle first time. Mm. Not oh. good experience. Hymen didn't even break. Yes, it didn't break. Yeah. Oh, didn't wow. break. No. Yeah, it was very sweet. Well, you were sixteen, babe. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't ready then. I wasn't I ready like, um, either. I regret it. I but I got it. finger blasted and I was 12. Well, eight, because yeah. I got molested by a cousin. Because oh we all sleep God. together. Well, that's, yeah. a lot of, that's a lot of... That's so my hymen probably broke one. then. Yeah. It hurt then. But then my first time losing it, I was like, nah, Oh, I'm my God. There. Can you imagine? you got to watch Dog Tooth. You guys are going to oh, love it's, um, it. Oh, it's the Greek director yeah, the who, guy does, who does uh, the lobster. lobster. I just saw Lobster and I, I fell into a really dark place and I don't want to watch <laughs> it again. Uh, There's yeah, a it, scene where it's the fucking bitch kills his brother who's a dog. And I... It's oh, yeah, the worst. I forgot. Yeah, I, no, it's a it's a similar kind of darkness, but it's sexual. Yorgos darkness. Lanthimos. That's Yorgos, his name. Yorgos Lanthimos. That's his wow, name. Good memory. You know what? I don't know this guy, but just the premise of Lobster seems very original. It's and dog a similar. Tooth, I like the name Dog Tooth. It's dog really tooth. dark and weird, and I it took me and it's all of it is like in subtitles, and I'm not sure what language they're speaking. I think it's a made up language. Ooh. In Dog Tooth, yeah. Artistic. Oh, oh so like Dog Tooth was might be a Latin. foreign movie, and then. Lobster that he did his first American movie. Yeah, that's basically Possibly. his like I box office version of this other short. Like it's not a short film, but it's like a Sundance type film. It's oh like wow! Indie. I love Indie, when that yeah. happens. Me yeah. too. Yeah, I love foreign directors. Like I like Takashi Miike a lot. I feel like they yeah. push the envelope a little bit more and like oh, yeah. weird something yeah. different. I just don't want to know Mike the ending. Has a movie called Go Goji or Goju, where um, a woman crawls out of another woman's vagina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. What, what I movie auditioned for that. Yeah. <laughs> what? You, get you get that? You're on Check a Bell, though. Yeah, I was on, oh, yes, I was on hold. Oh, you, were, yeah, you tested for that? Yeah, test. they said that wasn't <laughs> yeah. enough, uh, not tight enough to come out of a vagina. No, you you would just pop out with your yeah. small little peanut head. <laughs> it's a peanut. I mean, you have peanut. no titties at all. I said that <laughs> this weekend. Does that offend you, you when I say what? that? No. Small you know what also I said? Small moves are the best. Yeah, I also walked down the street with her, the, you know, over in Virginia, and I just said to her, and I really mean this, I view her mm-hmm. absolutely with no sexuality, and never have. That's what a girl likes to hear. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's like That's she's what a like fully a, developed woman. You're it's asexual. Like she's made out of yeah, wood yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Like you're calling me a person. Pinocchio. You're, you're calling me Pinocchio. Yeah, you don't you're even look real. Like, what is yeah. this? Is this like you know? By the way, I zoom a very. Is this pan's labyrinth? I mean. Do you have eyeballs on your hands? Like, if I just had tits, you would think I was hot. If no, I just had no, fake tits. Jade, you have a magnificent ass. That's Thank all anyone needs. Thank you very much. You do? Yeah. She does. I do. That's the your first thing I ever like noticed about her. In what <laughs> way? Yeah, in what weird. world? In She's Brazil. petite, and then she goes out this way. Yeah, but that's, that's like... That's like the best type of proportions. You don't want the opposite. Man. You don't want big tits and no sometimes ass. Sometimes I want, I like, big boobs. because no, I, I did like, mine out. I had implants Sometimes I look at boobs, and I'm just like, uh... Like it's a mm. natural response. She does. She does do that. Though. I she love loves women. boobs. Yeah, but I you love also boobs. love women. She I do. I love women. Yeah, and you've yeah. had many women lovers. <laughs> women lovers, correct? <laughs> like relationships. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A yeah. real like <laughs> love <laughs> relationship. Lovers. I have had some female lovers. A lot of work. Mm. A lot of work. It is emotionally yeah. or sexually. Emotionally, sexually. It's I'm not all the same. Do you? So you're you're into eating pussy then? Yeah, I haven't. E- I mean, I've been with Nick. I've been monog- You know, I'm in a monogamous yeah. relationship. And I'm always like, let's have a threesome. And then I'm like, no, I can't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we had like, we almost had a foursome like not too long ago, and it wasn't good. Wait, 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 with wait. a second couple, or yeah, with another couple. Ooh. And it was, I backed out. I was like, I can't. Let's go. Planned was, or how did that come about? I just kind. Of, it's weird. It was weird. We were just hanging out. We were both in the same hotel, and then. The, the only way you're going to feel okay about it is if yeah. you plan it without him knowing and you surprise him with it yeah. so you have the control. I want to suck his dick with another girl, but I can't have the girl be someone we know exactly. in the city or... There's an app for that. Thr- Thrinder? 
Yes. That's who should sponsor this fucking yes, podcast. Yes, they would sponsor this. They would sponsor this. Because we yeah. were in, I think, uh, in a different city one time, yeah. and he was sleeping, and I was bored, yeah. and I was like, hmm. But I would only feel <laughs> okay with it. So yeah, I logged on. Charge, yeah. yeah, so yeah. if I orchestrated the whole thing so that yeah, I have a relationship. you're never going to find a girl that's going to fuck me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she will. She will. I'm ugly. Yeah. There's no way they're gonna be like, I like the girl, but what is that? Wait, what is, <laughs> why is your butler? You yeah, 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 your butler. What you the fuck? Got, you got credits. <laughs> you got credits. People I don't like, look like a butler. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You, You're a butler too. <laughs> fuck face. I am a butler. Yeah, I'm yeah. all butlers. Yeah. You're the gardener, you fuck face. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Mexican gardener. Bobby, I'll be that butler. guy. Bobby, it's fine. You have tits. They're bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're never going to find a girl that's going to go, oh, yeah, I'm going to fuck yeah. that yellow every, thing. Every woman that you've ever told me you've fucked are all beautiful women. Yeah, so you, what yeah, the you fuck are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, but that's because about. they have specific, you know what I mean? They see the thing. So other people will too. Yes. Not based on a photo. Look, I'm not, I'm going to interview her. I'm but, not just yeah. going to be like, hey, show up one day. The, the reason it's I like okay with me. I like the interview process. Hello? Thank you for so much for coming. Can I see your resume? <laughs> what about a Tiger Belly fan? No, oh. because that's too. They're it too can't clingy. Be connected. Yeah, they it can't be fans be. because it's cling. They're very clingy and they can extort. Well, these fly one from things. fucking New York you, or something. It can't be somebody you don't that get knows. to fucking orchestrate yeah. it. Look, I won't agree to this unless I do all the planning without so, your knowledge. So if I show up and it's some so fucking you know ugly girl, it I have to do be. it. It won't she, be. Come on. She wants to fuck her too. It's not gonna have be some a little ugly faith dog. in me. Exactly. When. <laughs> 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 tonight, yeah, tonight's yeah. the night. No, I don't no know, but I, I have thought I about it, it because I I I've, I, you know, because I've been going through a lot of like health issues, yeah. and I was feeling just extremely unsexy, and just yeah. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's something that I that could spice it up even for myself, because he was getting pretty lame too. You know, I was like, yeah. oh god, like you know, we gotta turn this shit on a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. It happens. But that should happen. Yeah, it and be cool I, I don't time. think that yeah. it's something we ought to not talk about. It's honest and it's real. So yeah, if if I. If I propose another pussy and throw it your way, you better accept. You better accept. If you turn it down, uh, it'll uh, fuck okay. it up forever. I yeah, will, I, I will can. never yeah. do it again. You I'll won't trust. She won't trust you. Wow, yeah, so much okay. pressure. Because I'm a little Jesus. bit of a voyeur. Have this threesome, you fuck. Yeah, I, I, do, I, yeah. like watch, I like watching. I like too. the jealousy I feel. Yeah. It kind of gives me more of a little bit of fire. See, I told you, I told we got I don't a lap dance think, once, Jay, and that happened Nick to me. Nick is yes. going to want to do it. I, I, I was like watching it, and I thought I would be jealous. Yeah. And then I was like into watching her on, mm -hmm. with him. I was like, okay, mm. no, yeah, let's do, you do that. Really? Yeah, so he never wants to go to the strip club with me, and he's like, "Nope, Just it's gonna go. graduate into something else. It's gonna become something." We've done a couple couples lap dances together, but then the girl is always like, "I have a boyfriend too," and I'm like, "Stop talking to me!" Yeah. <laughs> like they don't find me sexual either, yeah. you know? Like yeah. I'm like a trying friend, to rub like on them. I'm like, "Hi, yeah. you're funny." I'm like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> your personality. Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah. They're like, "Yeah, tell me a joke." I'm like, yeah, I'm tell uh, you a joke. I, okay, okay, okay. Um, let, we will try it. It has to be a different, maybe. maybe a different Look, country. Surprise me! I don't even want to think about. Yeah, exactly. I'm having my a panic time, right now. My all tell, my dude. rules, yeah, I'm my having everything. A full yeah. panic attack. I, I don't know. All you have to do is show up, relax, baby. Look, I know plenty of sluts, babe. Trust me, they're yeah. all girlfriends of mine. They're my throwaway friends that right. I I <sighs> just have hung out with here and there, but don't really have a real relationship. If they're with. listening tonight, and then they get a phone call in a week. They're like, oh no, it's me. It's <laughs> dude, I have <laughs> a throwaway friend. Close. They should be okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I know people like that. Yeah, okay, I'm scared so, though. So let me let's let's walk it through then. Okay. <laughs> No, he I just want to walk know. it through. I need to walk it okay, through. Okay, this is so. Give me a scenario. So you, well, how would you say? This it is to what me? I would do. I would say, hey, I would probably get a room at the Line Hotel or something, right. just just to tell you, hey, let's spend the night why here. Would, and why would we go there? What, uh, let's okay. So call me. Let's say I'm. Let's say I'm down the street. Yeah. Call me. Tell me how you're gonna do it. Bring, 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 bring. Yeah. I would text you. I wouldn't call you. That's just awkward. Oh, text me then. <laughs> I would surprise you and just say, hey, meet me here. Let's have dinner here. Why? We, we let's go home. No, just. All right, I'll go. Fine, I, plan. I already made so I, go to, uh, I go to the Lions Hotel, and then what happens? And I say, hey, like, I got us a room, you know, to spice it up. Oh, We can that's fuck great. and then go home. That's I say, nice. Like, go so I, go so home. I go upstairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then what happens? There's another oh. naked go, female on the who's, bed. Who's this? And she'll go, hey, hi. You're going to ask questions. I'm Amber. Yeah, I have to ask questions. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? You know what? Come in. You're yeah. already making out with a girl. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Well, wait. I can't come in, and she's making yeah. out with her? Yeah. Wait, this isn't just for you. This is also for me, you dumb She's dumb. making out with the girl Ooh, already. La, la. And then they look at you and they go like this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Come, come. And, mm -hmm. then, and then what happens? No, stop. Okay, stop sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
He nuts right there. Yeah, yeah, not right there. Oh, okay, it's yeah. done, yeah, and they're like, done. just watch TV while we finish. You know what? Finish. It's the new world. It's 2016. <laughs> it's the new it's world. It's the new world, and I have to it's learn. It's developed. Yeah. You know what? It's yeah. maturity. Being able to be open and sexually in not connecting mm. emotions to it is a maturity that I cl- don't have yet. Yeah. I don't think I ever want to live a life so restricted to the point where I can't tell my partner, like, hey, these are my desires. I right. don't think I ever want to prison or cage myself in that way. And that's the reason why Bobby is so attracted to me because he has that same... We talk about we, we, I would never cheat on him. I know he would never yeah. cheat on me. But should that should we ever cross that bridge together? We were like, okay, you know what? Let's spice it up a little bit. I don't think that anyone would take it personally or in a way other than okay, yeah, yeah like you know. And I yeah, I'm interested. To report back to us, okay? Mm-hmm. And I think my mom was and my parents did that, but they just kept it on the down low <gasps> back in the day. What Maybe. like mistresses? Yeah, yeah but the, yeah. her situation, her dad was. How old was her dad when you met your mom? He was in his, so he made me, I was his last lucky sperm. I was, um, <laughs> he was in his 60s. My mom was no, in her 20s. No. 20s. Is he mm-hmm. still alive? Mm-mm. He died at 80, 13 years ago. Wow. He was old though. 80. Yeah. He lived a it's full a good life. life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you knew him for a long time. That's, you still yeah. got to know him for a long time. I, yeah. I, I, I also like the fact that you're, you, you're like me in the sense that you can tell your parents anything. Everything. I, they don't I, even remember half of the stuff. They didn't even mm. remember that cocaine story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I remember going to <laughs> getting a prostitute because mm-hmm. I used to work with this guy named Donald Yasuachi. Mm-hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have said his name. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> I haven't seen him in years. A million. And he owns all this like farmland. You know how I say I used to sell corn on. This? I used to have jokes where I said sold corn on the side of the road, mm. but people don't know that I worked on a farm. I chopped corn. You really did. Yeah, I chopped. Chop yeah, I'd how wake did up you at five chop in the morning. Like in half? Yeah, with the Mexicans. Like, why would you need? I would. To get I would you know what? I wouldn't Whoa. even chop. I'm, the chopping is not. I would load corn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're so lying, really yeah, 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 yeah. I would lying. load corn and they would chop. I would load <laughs> the corn. They sell half can cobs. I, can we pause real this corn farm story? Real, there's so many photos of you in this one room. Like so, like, <laughs> like, there's, what? like you're telling me about your corn pass as yeah, yeah. you're like there's a painting of you in front of a fireplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, not, not a narcissist. Yeah, tell us more. So anyway, Donald Yasuwachi, I was um, seventeen. Mm-hmm. He goes, "Hey, you." He had an accent. He goes, "You don't you 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 never fucked before, huh?" <laughs> That's how he sounds. Yeah. Wait, how old were you? Like seventeen. Okay. Okay. I go, no, 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 I never fuck. <laughs> you know, I you know I take uh, cl- clients, you know, like from like grocery stores, mm. Vons, Ralphs, you know what I mean, and I take them to La Fonda Beach. And we get a hotel, we fuck girl. You wanna come? I go, Yeah, I'd love to come. <laughs> and so I'm sitting in this like kind of hotel and he would they would bring girls in, right? And Donald he was so ch- cool guy, mm-hmm. Japanese dude. Pick. I picked one. I fucked my first I was you know, the I very fucked first a girl. girl. Yeah. And then um I went home and I told my parents. And they responded. And they were like, oh, okay. I mean they cause mm-hmm. I was I was sober at the time. I got sober when I was 17. Yeah. So they just cared that I was sober. They didn't care that all this other stuff. So I tell them every single fucking thing. Because up until that point, he had only had dick. Yeah, true. <laughs> cool. The way you fucking say it, though, yeah. it's, it's like, true. it makes me regret it even you had more. You had more dick in your teens than I did. That's not even fucking <laughs> correct. Wait, t- wait, were you with boys? For sure. Absolutely. I wish Steve was here. Oh yeah, Steve. I, Steve's told me some crazy stories. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't even know half some about some crazy Steve. ones. And if I tell people, some cousin ones. Some all right, ones. all right. <laughs> oh, Jay knows. Jay knows. All right. Jay knows. There's yeah, a lot of pizza I, we ate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did have some homosexual experiences as a young person. Yeah. And we talk about it every fucking week. I don't want to talk about it anymore. But yeah, my point true. is, is that. But yeah. what I love about your parents, though, is is that you can say things, and I think you're like that with your mom. I you can am. tell your like mom that. anything. And it, do you think that that's because we have ethnic? You do you tell your parents everything? Mostly my mom, my dad. He doesn't care because he thinks he knows everything. Already. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, probably yeah. tells him everything too. Yeah, he knows. Like parents are tricky. You think that they're like, mm-hmm. a, like a Very part, open. but they're always. It's cultural. I think we're just way more. I think open. it's cultural because yeah. and my aunts and uncles, they're all filthy people, man. Like <laughs> really? when, at a dinner table, like yeah. I would never want any of you guys or you, George, to ever sit in on like a family dinner. It's just you're too white. It's it's really <laughs> just R rated, disgusting, yeah. borderline, really mm-hmm. yeah, like inappropriate. Because even when I go home, because I've you know I've been in America for a while now, so every time I go back to the Philippines, I'm yeah, like, Jesus, tone it the fuck down. They're like yeah. kids everywhere, you know. Yeah, but they don't care. They don't care. Yeah, yeah she'll fucking my aunt, my yeah. tita Cecil, she'll f- 
pull her she'll show her tits at the dinner table she'll pull her fucking thing I down like she's like this. look look I'm 60 I still shave <laughs> that's aggressive. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. Yeah. Look at my nipple; it's pinky. Yeah, and you're eating you know? calamari. You're like, oh. Oh. Yeah. very like vulgar, <laughs> very vulgar, yeah. very vulgar. Yeah. But I'm that's I, that's very me humor. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> I always think, oh my god, what does that genital look like? I just want to see everybody's genital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you th- always think that guy has a dick, but maybe he doesn't. Like I showed Jade might be dick photos the, the, over the weekend. I think you showed everybody. I don't in think this I've world. ever seen your. Oh yeah, when you're standing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like my my growing up, my dinner tables with family were violent and insane. What mm. do you mean? Why? Like my I had dinner. I was a kid, and we used to have all our cousins, uncles, and aunts like maybe every other month come to our house and yeah. eat. Right. So everyone lived in San Diego, and um, my. Dad's sister got drunk one night and she said, just in front of 60 people, I don't know why you married this one. She's ugly to my mom. Oh my God. So my dad took a knife, oh, yeah, yeah. leaped across the table, and stabbed her in the neck. Oh my God. How deep? Like it's, it scarred her, you know what I mean? But Wait. it was chaos. <laughs> Wait. Attempted murder. Much? What the fuck? Yeah. And then another time I remember my dad. Um, we went to my cousin Dong Hyung is what we called him. <laughs> Dong? Yeah, Dong, Dong like Hyung Dong means, Dong means, it means shit brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's younger fucking Hyung is younger, Hyung is, right? Yeah, younger, yeah, yeah. No, Hyung is brother and Dong, Dong is shit. shit. Yeah. Shit brother. Dong, sh- Dong Young. Right, so we were living in Minnesota and then we came back to San Diego and he we walked into this house and Dong Young hadn't seen my dad in a very long time. And Dong Hyung was in high school at the time. And so we walked in, and Dong Hyung was walking up these <laughs> stairs, right? And my dad goes, greet me, like in Korean, because that's yeah. like, and Dong Hyung yeah. didn't even say anything. He just walked into his room, which as a kid, I knew, uh-oh. Oh, no. Right? So my dad goes, yeah, yogi wa! Yogi wa! Right? Dong Hyung peeks out. He's in high school. Yeah. Probably high, right? He walks down the stairs. My dad puts him in a Muay Thai clinch and starts kneeing his face. No! <laughs> yeah, like nine times, right? Next thing I know, ambulance, right? Cops. There's chaos. Yeah. Fists, you know, be, people being ripped apart from each other, right? And I remember being outside in the backyard with my mom crying. My dad is like being held down in, in the living room by my, his, my, my uncle. You know, it's just chaos. That's insane. And How that's old are what, you then? I don't know, like 11. Holy, Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. But it's Crazy like that shit. was, you know, I'm always, you know, and I think, I don't think that happens in white homes, does it? No, I don't think that happens in most homes. I feel like Dong Hyung deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> what an <laughs> asshole. That's also, a, what a little fucking yeah. asshole. It's yeah. like saying shut up in Portuguese. Going into you someone else's yeah, you home can, right? and then shut up to someone. Oh. Yeah. How do you say shut up in Portuguese? Yeah. Cala sua boca. Cala boca? Cala sua cala is cala like su boca. Cala sua boca. Cala sua boca. Cala sua boca. But I think that that has a lot to do with um, oh, like just Kaya being Zee. immigrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immigrant like homes Zee. are just a little different. And then you see other families. Like I used to go to my friend Craig Crawford's house. Yeah. And they would you know, eat at six, you know, you know, and they had potatoes. And then they would watch TV, you know, TV afterwards. <laughs> so That's right? how Nick's parents are. And they don't talk about stuff like hard stuff like that. Yeah. Not and then you'd thing. go home and yeah. you'd see my family. You know what I mean? Everyone's and my dad yelling. getting in a drunken fucking rage. Just you know, it's insane. You know, but that's why you do your act. That's why you're you. You think so? Yeah. Because you have control. Yeah, I think that... And it that, was such a lack of... It was so crazy and chaotic, you know? Yeah, people go, why are you so crazy? And I go, you, that's not crazy. <laughs> exactly. You don't know what crazy is. <laughs> don't I think know. that's what, what... What were we at time? An hour. Wow. Wow, she's mm-hmm. very... That one, she's very good. Natural. Very mm-hmm. natural. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it out of character. All right, so now what we do now is we do a... Um, they email questions and it's called unhelpful answer. advice unhelpful advice I bet nobody asks questions if I was the guest <laughs> that happens a lot <laughs> no they do unhelpful advice with Bobby Kalila and <laughs> little brown peanut that's good I had no idea where that was coming from yeah. what are you doing <laughs> your little sketch huh <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sketch boy <laughs> if hey, you God. say sketch boy again okay, I'm gonna, I'm sorry. Sorry. I won't say it again it makes me cringe too I will lose your my teeth are so fucking white and it's big it used to be fat okay man he's from he's from second city Chicago 300 pounds right and he used to do sketches where he was fat. Nah, yeah. I didn't do this. Yeah, you did. You have to. Really? Because we have videos okay. of you doing that. Hey, man. All right, hey. go ahead. Mm-hmm. Give me 
me the question. Hey guys, I'm Nick, 23 from UK. We got oh, a your bit boyfriend. Of, it's my boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick Rutherford. This is the question <laughs> for my girlfriend. <laughs> I got a bit of a pickle. I was wondering what you guys thought. I met an English girl while traveling to Thailand last year. She lives out there, so when I uh, left, we stayed in touch. Lovely girl. We uh, got along really well. Gonna go back there in November, maybe pursue things. Mm-hmm. We aren't in a relationship, so establish we can do that we can do whatever we want ignorance ignorance is bliss but we like each other so we said we shag other people last week i met a girl who also lives in london we went on the first date it was a splendid and etc now when i'm talking to the first bird i real i feel real guilty bird. and i such weird lingo bird. reading yeah like i've cheated or something or uh proper mugged her off Mm-hmm. Except we aren't in a relationship. Should I feel guilty? Am I a piece of shit? Should I tell her? What do I do? Please help me. Oh, wow. He feels guilty though. Well, the, he's got really good like a moral compass. Yeah. I would not feel guilty at all. We're not yeah. exclusive. We didn't agree to anything. It's true. He shouldn't feel. He yeah. Shouldn't and feel if guilty. she ob- if this first bird obligates him to <laughs> bird. Ex- like yeah. exclusivity without in a know, long distance in a li- how old oh. are they can we ask that how old are they do we uh, know 23 he's 23 i have no You're idea so oh young God. baby bird yeah, but the guilt shows that he likes the first exactly, exactly. Yeah, the yep. guilt is showing him something or maybe not maybe it's not liking maybe it's like he feels guilt drink for this another right here? reason yeah. yeah that's yours yeah i mean i i was crucified by this one australian guy who still wants me dead but um it's the same situation it's like we he was living in melbourne i was living here we would go see each other when we could but we never were exclusive i did have love for him i might have exchanged a few i love you excuse me the throes of passion but But then she met me (laughs) no no no. i met him him afterwards but i would see other people but he would go out of his way and he had me followed in vegas and he he broke yeah. into my Instagram and found out that I was like seeing other people and he lost his he shit also and he got threatened me to kill from me. The Cap City but, and after you guys <laughs> talked, oh, I love that club. Bobby thinks he got banned from that comedy club because, because of this. Yeah. Cap yeah. City Austin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's one of my story. favorite clubs. Yeah. Well, yeah. It depends on what the rules were laid out. Yeah. Like if you, there's an understanding we're seeing other people, you're seeing other fucking. Well, he was people. a Lebanese guy. He thought I was the one and that we were gonna oh, have some Habibis. big Lebanese. Yeah. Babies are scary sometimes. Yeah, you know? very. His his family is pretty scary, so I wouldn't. I so shouldn't should he tell this girl? No, I think no. I don't think I think he should clarify. Like, hey, I am seeing other people. Like, I don't know. I mean, does he? It depends on what he wants next. Yeah, if he plans on locking it down with her, no, yeah. like, don't tell her. Do, do not tell her. Do not, not tell her. Start with a you know fresh slate, and you know she'll never have to know. And I'm confused. He's in London. Yeah, uh, he's in the. He he's met in, the other girl while he was in Thailand, but they're both from London. Oh, I so see. So both see, birds are from London. Birds. Um, traveling with someone, if you travel well with them, stay with them because yeah. it's a great thing. Three, it's like I, I don't like. It's Nothing like yet. I met Kalila when I was forty. Yeah. Right, and th- I'm I'm bummed that I didn't meet her earlier, but. Yeah. I also want you to know, just keep in mind that I'm wasting like my firm skin years on you. So just <laughs> keep that in mind. Yeah. That's so hard. either this yeah. is a big sacrifice. For yeah. Me. I'm already, you know, I'm 31. <laughs> yeah. Don't let don't stay with me another five years if you don't intend to stay with me forever. Because I'll be a melted candle. by I then. fucking bitch. I fucking made so much sacrifice. <laughs> we put a wedding bitch. date. Let's put a wedding date. Come on. He's never going to marry me. Yeah, you know what? That's okay. If you, her, if you, you like had her? a wedding, do you like, I do you like her. me, Jay? I do like Thank you. Thank you. If would I get invited to the wedding? Like you. Yeah, of course. You and Nick. I love you, Nick. Nick. But that's all I want. Just a party. I don't really care. We could go to get a go to the court thing. What do they do? I think that yeah, yeah. You, Are you guys getting uh, married? I, I would like to. I'm sorry. I think that to get you, Asa, Kira, and Kalila should do an extra female. podcast. We should. You know Asa, Kira is? Yeah, she does. I don't know her, but I'm very nervous. Look her I'm up. very nervous. You know, I know you who guys, she is. Yeah. Uh, Chemistry wise, I, know Dana. I think that oh, it okay. would fucking kill it. She's would she amazing. Would be naked doing yeah. it? She oh, yeah. would be. I mean, she's she done it a bunch of times. She just wrote a book, her second book, too. She's witty. She's funny. So smart. She's a, she's a whip. I remember we did Ryan Keeley. Do you know guys know her? She used to be a porn star. Yeah, Ryan yeah, yeah. Keeley. Yep. Yeah. And she got totally naked. And she did this thing. Where she was going to sit on my lap, but I was nervous that Nick was going to get mad at me. Yeah. And so she, she just came over and bit my neck, and then I rushed home and masturbated, really. <laughs> just like you're <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I, like, I was, so, I was yeah. like, it was like, I couldn't, because I couldn't touch her. But I was so, I was like, okay, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> does he worry that oh, you um, would cheat with a woman? Or does I think he, he does. Yeah. I think he's scared that if we have a threesome maybe i'll be like oh i forgot i forgot right. men suck. you know he um yeah. he says he's never cheated on a woman but he he told me this one story where he went to like an all like a a sex party and then oh, just yeah. jerked off um Afterwards. to what 
afterwards. But d- while they were there in front of no. No. Oh, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said you jerked yeah, off in front of Yeah, that's why I was saying my story is like his, the one where he jacked off in the car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that you didn't jack off in the car, sweetie. You said you jacked off in front of them. No, I didn't. That's cheating. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that cheating, that's right? Cheating. Yeah, yeah. That's, cheating. Yeah. that's cheating. But I want to say this, too, um, that you were really good on this podcast, I believe. Oh, thanks, Yeah, you buddy. were amazing. Thanks for having me, you guys. And yeah, then um, I think that, okay, so let's plug some stuff. So, yeah. um, yeah. Your 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 twiddle Twitter handle twiddles. my twiddles your Twitter <laughs> handle you guys can twiddle on my twiddle uh wait when does this come out tomorrow tomorrow night. Like tomorrow night. night yeah you guys can find me on Twitter at the Jade Movie at the Jade Movie watch mm. watch each one if you're home on a Friday on a Friday night. <laughs> oh so wait what is that is I have a show called Flashback Friday it's oh. kind of like dinner in a movie that we play old oh. movies and make fun of it and it's and then oh, not um, a real show <laughs> yeah <laughs> your really Instagram's the same Jade Movie at the Jade Movie at yeah. the Jade Movie Twitter and yeah. At the twi- yeah, yeah, Twitter, okay. same all same bullshit. When you do girl code, you do it with Esther Koo or no? No, she's not on it anymore. Oh. I'm I'm not really on it anymore either. I did a couple seasons. But oh, okay, my bad. Is this, yeah. the show two. is still on though? Yeah, they did girl code versus guy code this round. Mm. I didn't do it. Yeah, uh. but oh. you can check me out at the Oxnard Improv with Neil and this weekend. Oh, wow. fancy! Wait, no, you're, were you doing Oxnard, wait, you're doing Oxnard with Neil this weekend. Is it the, the Kevin new one? Seven. That's the Levity Kevin Levity Levity Look at me right now. Yes, but you're gonna do it for me in October too. Yeah, we we're to gonna it. shoot it. We, we gotta get everything. Yeah, together. so you guys Jayden, should do that. Yeah, Jayden, don't you think? Yes. Jade and yes. I are gonna shoot a pilot together. Yeah, Ooh. we are, and it's gonna be great. Yeah, we should talk about own. it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, come out, come see some stand up at the comedy store this week. We'll yeah. both be there. No, I'm in uh, Philadelphia. Oh, mm-hmm. that's right. I like to plug my stuff. Yeah. I'm at the Philadelphia <laughs> Helium. Helium. Helium uh-huh. this weekend. <laughs> and um, Thank you, let Jay. me ask you guys a question. I'm doing one more episode on Matt TV tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that Why? bad for my brand? No. Oh, yeah. You have to do it. You would have to do it. I've already done yeah. it. It's my second time. I don't want people to think, though, that like this is all. No, you're, you're passing the torch. You're, you're just passing it. the torch it's to so these fun. kids. Yeah. Okay. By the way, if you didn't do it, that would be like, what the fuck? Why it's is weird. he not doing it? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, yeah. Ike's doing it. Everyone's doing well, you, it. Did it Should I have done it? Should I have done Matt TV? Did I make a mistake? No. Jade was very close to getting mad. And um, I thought I did good. You oh, did great. Tri- yeah. I think that she. Um, anyway, it's fine. So when it fits, it fits. It fits. It fits. Doesn't fit. Yeah, I didn't. Fit. But you were great. Thank you so much for coming here and doing <laughs> it. And um, what an anticlimactic ending. <laughs> what do you want it me to fits, do? It fits. Wait, you said there was a song that you guys wrote for the. I want to hear it. Is it? Oh, close oh off she on doesn't it? know my the song. The, our, our theme song. Oh, we'll tell you after. Yeah, we'll yeah, okay. was, yeah our, my theme song. Yeah, I wrote it. And he I did music. all He's the music. He's a musician. And I, and so I did oh, a, a, He's sophisticated. I'm very sophisticated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All Wait, right, tell us, you. where are you this weekend? Philadelphia, I already said and it. And a month from now, he's going to be in Calgary at Yuck Yucks. In Canada. That is, yes, and Calgary. And they are currently that? looking for... We'll, we'll talk business afterwards. You want to do that gig? Yeah, I would love to do that gig. But I'm not looking at my calendar, so I need... And we're on a podcast right now. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Bye, guys. All right, bye, everybody. Gilbert, announcements. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Tiger Belly. Also on Twitter at the Tiger Belly. If you have any questions, questions like Nick, you can email us at the Tiger Belly at gmail.com. You can follow... Follow Kalila at all social media at Calamity K. You can follow George at George underscore Kimmel or at George Kimmel. <laughs> and you can follow me at Gilbert's. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to do the Comedy Comedy Festival in LA before Margaret Cho. Check me out. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you next week. Ciao. But you know what I like about white dudes? They do like they take it to the next level. Because they don't want to be embarrassed. They want to be in control. Because right? they, they want to one up me. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. When they're like, when oh, they're like yeah. dancing, mm-hmm. you're like, come on, dude, just fight it. It's funnier. It's like, funny when yeah. they fight it. It's funny. I like when they're, it when they're uncomfortable. Yeah, me yeah. too. When they're like, uh. yeah. It's funny when he gets body slammed. Yeah. yeah what? I've seen a couple dudes. Drop I haven't him. been. 
Yav? Were yeah. you there when? The bl- when the black dudes oh. picked you up and oh, you yeah, like yeah. fell against Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's so funny watching it. Oh, I love it. There was it. this one, um, I think it was in Ontario, improv. Yeah. Um, this one Asian guy who was so down and so loud. He's like, pick me, pick me. So Bobby brings him up. Yeah. And as soon as he realizes what he's in for, he just gets up, runs out of the club. <laughs> like leaves his friends there. Like he's just completely humiliated. He's like from Vietnam. and <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so here's another thing I want to talk about, and we're gonna we're gonna tiptoe through it. Okay. Uh-oh. We'll tiptoe through it, and then you'll reveal what you want to reveal and what you don't want to re- reveal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I have a little problem with uh, a female comedian from Chicago. Ooh, beef! I like. Is it Twitter beef or like beef. real life t- IRL okay, now, beef? You have nothing to do with what I'm about to say, so okay. you can you stay Just out of it. it. Okay. But what's the girl's name? Who you're about to say? Yeah. You say it. I forgot her name. That's why I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> I smoke a lot of pot. You were high the whole time. I smoke a lot of pot, and I did smoke tonight after my Zumba class. Okay, so, so there is a girl that I I I did um the Chicago Improv, and I had this big ups to Tony. <laughs> yeah, big ups. <laughs> Why doesn't she remain nameless? So that way we can really talk shit without okay, yeah, ever yeah, yeah. naming All right, her. So I don't right. know her name. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So she um <laughs> first for us. She showed up. She's sweating like a lot. Like my <laughs> pussy is sweating somehow. <laughs> I don't know how it's happening. She was hosting my shows. This is a couple years ago, and she showed up to one show wearing a ballroom gown. No, no, no. What was it? Oh, you're fucking dumb. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we show up, and we think she's the manager because she's like very dressed up. Like yeah. she's wearing like a night dress. Yeah. Like it's shiny, it's satin, and she's wearing like pearls. I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I do tricks to my features. Mm-hmm. I don't Jade has not because she's I don't know maybe it's no you've done sh- you have the thing where they would call my name and you wouldn't let me go on stage yeah do that yeah yeah, yeah. I do yeah. that a lot but guess what I what? can do any club people don't do that to me now so it's I'm a lot better yeah <laughs> yeah I mean? exactly like, right I mean you I'm trying to teach these kids well I started at the comedy store and things yeah like and that you're and you're hardened me. so you're, yeah. in, you're into hazing yeah 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 like yeah. you know some of the African-American comics like Doc Willis I would say stuff like um you have to say yabba dabba do ten times up front but without it's so justifying. It's obviously like a joke yeah. and like yeah. lighthearted. It's mm-hmm. never like it's if mean. it was weird. So what happened with this girl? So then I go, um, hey, just can you not dress like that? <laughs> we were kind of we were kind of mean up front. We were joking. No, but we it's, didn't know. it's my show. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It's my show, and it's like I'm just saying that like. You know, it's like, you know, when Radiohead plays. I'm not saying that I'm nowhere. I mean, obviously, it's like a completely different, you know what I mean? He's Wait, I'm sorry. Can we, yeah, yeah, back it up. <laughs> Pretty sure you mean when, like, Blink-182 or... Yeah, 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 or, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. When Hoobastank. some local band... Hoobastank. Like, Hoobastank. 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 Oh, Hoobastank. 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 311 perform. Who does Chad Kroger play for? Hey, Nickelback. Gilbert. Nickelback. Hey, Nickelback. Hey, Nickelback, really? Yeah, Nickelback. Nickelback. Look at this photograph. Hey, I'm Bobby Lee, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go Hoobastank. Um, <laughs> they get to choose who opens for mm-hmm. them and stuff, right? Because mm-hmm. it's a, if someone is headlining, they, it's, it's the whole show is revolved around the headlining show. So I just go, oh, can you just dress it down a bit? It's just my audience. You're going up like, you know, in a gown, you know, just wear some jeans and a t-shirt and we're cool. And she just was completely offended by it. She's like, oh. She was very offended. Yeah, very offended. Oh, Next visibly. night. Oh. How did you say it though? What do you mean? I, I mean, really did you remember. did you establish a rapport before you told her, "Bitch, don't dress like that." No. But okay, Bobby, <laughs> no. I would. She didn't know who he was, and I I could see how <laughs> she could have been like, "Me too." Oh, but she was very dressed up. I really I thought she was the manager. She yeah, was I like she in was high heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if she was shoes? Oh, he bought wow. me shoes because we were in Chicago. For, it was on my birthday, and I was really sad and lonely because. Then he took me to the mall and bought me some shoes. Really I sweet. I think you got um, Fahim some shoes too. I got Fahim and wore some yeah. shoes. Right. Shoes are a little different because, um, <laughs> what am I going to do with them? I mean, I, they, it's their <laughs> size, right? Take them off while you're totally sleeping. Different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel yeah, like I if I get back. you shoes, I can take it back at any time. No, you Ooh, that's yes, bad. I can. I bought that's it. That's an Indian. That's literally <laughs> the Indian. definition of Indian giver. It's not. I don't even know. I'm not Indian. You're an Indian yeah. giver. Yeah, yeah. What is Indian giver? I've never You're heard of that. You're a Korean before. giver. Taking you... back what you give to somebody or controlling. Yeah, but I have what never taken is. back shoes. <laughs> I'm going to hope. But I'm just saying, theoretically and philosophically, you could. I could. Okay. All right. Yeah. So with the food, mm-hmm. you see, it stays at the table. All right. Yeah. You know what this bitch does? Mm-hmm. My, I mean, my beautiful girlfriend. She gets. She goes, oh, I'm going to take meat back from Korean barbecue. Okay. 
All right. It's because I want to give it to homeless right, people right. on our of way course. home. Because and it stays don't in the car food. for three months. Because he doesn't allow me to get out the car. <laughs> so each oh, time, like, stop, stop right here, stop right here. He just zooms past them. Bobby, you know. She, uh, okay, I'm going to say this. A homeless person doesn't want Korean barbecue. They want they anything. Do. They, they don't. They want, anything. They want crack. <laughs> but they can trade food. <laughs> they can trade food with someone yeah. for maybe a cigarette that then can be traded for a razor blade that then can be traded for cash mm. for drugs. Currency. Chris yeah. D'Elia, one time, I gave a homeless guy 20 bucks. And he kind of grabbed me and goes, you know what he's going to do with that money? I go, what? He goes, he's going to buy crack. Why did you do that? Chris? Because, yeah, I, I said, because I don't have crack on me. <laughs> you would have given him crack. I would have given him crack. If I could give him crack, <laughs> right, then how, first of all, let me say this. How happy would the homeless person be? Like, He'd I be mean, so how happy. How do you know that's their choice well, of yeah, drugs? The, how you do have you know that's crack? You got it. Well, whatever specific. drug they want. You got to read them right. Yeah, whatever drug they want. They're shaky. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, could I have some shit? No, but I have crack. crack. They'd be like, are you Jesus? Are they Asian as well? <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of... <laughs> well, Jade, I'm sorry. my homeless I, impressions aren't good. And you don't have to I have a question out. for you, Jade. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Has he been wearing this god-awful ponytail all weekend? No, but I, I like kind of like it. I it. like it. Like, <laughs> but I was, so I feel like he's kind of copying my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like... Uh, <laughs> I'm Tony Thornburg, and everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. When I, uh, yes. I went... Do you know who Tony Thornburg is? I have no idea. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. okay. I'll pull it up. I'd suck you. his dick so bad. Mm -hmm. This guy right here, Tony Thornburg, is a half Asian, half Swedish male model. Oh, yeah. And I will suck his dick so fast. You know who's the hottest Asian guy? The guy on The Walking Dead. The Asian guy on The Walking no, Dead. Steven. So Steven Young. Yeah. He's no, so sweet. He's and he not. can sing. You see his skin in, in real oh, life is like porcelain. And his, his fiance is gorgeous. We sang karaoke with him in Japan. I was like. Nah, you were in nah, Japan nah, nah, with Steven? Steven? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, man. This guy is a villain. What do you mean? Mm. Tony. Look, Look at, at this guy. Look at how cute he is. I mean, come on, dude. He's beautiful. Yeah. I, you guys can't see him. But real long face. It looks like it's melting, but just enough. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. right enough. Of people melting. don't so know high. who's who in this photo. Let me see. No, people can no, tell. No, no, they don't. No, Steve, who's what's Stephen you? <laughs> the one that fucked. Yeah. The you know, one that and fucked I, they, Maggie is the one. That yeah, yeah, yeah. They go. Which one is the one on the right? No, it's the one in back. Oh. Can you post that photo along with the episode, please? Yes. Yeah, companion. yeah, I will. Yeah. Because Stephen you and, and I are identical. He's so sweet. He is a sweet guy. Really good guy. And um, so Tony Thornburg's my man. But um, what else bothers you about me? <laughs> this is what the, by the way, this is what the show is. Yeah, this is what the show is. Just let it all out. Let it all Jade, out. Now's your time. Well, I know for a fact that you wear the same pair of underwear the entire weekend. That's mm -hmm. cool. Whoa. True. The entire weekend. Really? I yeah. can I can corroborate. Yeah. Come on, man. I don't. Is that me? Who's that you? No way. Wow. How oh, unprofessional. Sorry, it's Nick Rutherford. <laughs> is it Nick? Oh, Whoa, let's talk about on. Nikki Rutherford. <laughs> So Jade's boyfriend um, is Nikki Nick Rutherford. I he's call him Nikki when he's bad. I love Ooh. Nick. Ooh. <laughs> and Nick is um, a part of a group called Good Neighbor. Mm -hmm. They're well, a sketch group, yeah. correct? Well, they don't do a lot. Of, they haven't done a lot of stuff together in a while. I know, but three of the four Good Neighbors got on SNL. Yeah. And then Nick got on as a writer. Uh huh. One tiger belly. Okay. Okay. Um, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I'm Captain Admiral Bob Young Lee. Young Lee. The first. The first. And I have Kalila Koloko Koloko Loko Kun, mm -hmm. my girlfriend. I don't mm -hmm. don't really know how to say her last name. And it's been three he years. still doesn't. Kuhn. We've been together three Kuhn. years. Kuhn. Kuhn. Say it. Kuhn. We've got um, Gilbert. I don't know your last name. What is it? Galone. Galone. No, I, I think I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. And then we have a wow. um, guest today, um, Jade Catapreta Preta Preta Jade yes. wow. from um, the sitcom Manhattan Love Story. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Didn't and, make it? Can't, got canceled? <laughs> oh. Cool. Yeah, how, long, how many episodes? <laughs> did 11 you do? episodes. There we go. That's a lot. That's a win. It was cool. And she's on Girl Code. Funny. And she's also mm -hmm. on, uh, she hosts for VH1. What, what do you host? I have a show called Flashback Fridays. Flashback oh. Fridays. Yeah. And uh, she sometimes opens for me on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, she opens also for Bill Burr and um, Kevin Nealon. And I'm your third. 
<laughs> your third admit, choice? I'm your third choice. You're the OG. Admit, no, just admit, though. No, I, I no. Want, no, admit it right now that I'm <laughs> your third choice. You, just, you never hang out during the day. And, you know, I want to like, go paddle boarding and like sightseeing <laughs> and mm-hmm. stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, oh, really? Kevin Nealon goes paddle boarding. <laughs> he went paddle boarding with me. He did. He did? What? He did. And, and what does Bill Burr do with you? Bill, we go to barbecue. We learn French. We drive around. Oh we my see God. the sights. Oh, you well, see? that's why I'm third wrong. <laughs> You don't do that stuff, man. When do you, do you ever see me during the day? Ne- I've, I don't know what you look like during the day. <laughs> <laughs> do you know why? Because you're sleeping exactly. all day. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, because I have shit to do. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, being, but being on the road with you is the funniest, so that's why I do it oh, for the stories. Oh, that's really you know? nice. And so I'm mean to you, you said. You're before very mean to me. Why? How? I remember one time you were just looking at me and you go, ugh. You have the ugliest, tiniest head. Wow. <laughs> you said the opposite of me. You're like, the you're biggest such an alien. Head. You do have a very you, large head. Extremely large. Your head looks yeah. like a fucking brown peanut. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tiny. And it's like yeah. in a tiny bun tonight. Like, too. I just want to eat it. You know what I mean? Oh. I yeah. Try, yeah. But her proportions are all petite. I'm all very really? small. Really? She's 46 years pounds. <laughs> Did you say 46, 46 years, years old pounds. and pounds? <laughs> Do I look old? No, you're not. Are you really 46? No, I'm 32. She looks great. Oh. But you really need to eat something. I Listen, mean, guys, I eat more than most people. Yeah. You do? I do. I, I don't know. I go out to eat. Oh, no, tell I've people. I've been sick. Tell people my, my rule. My, my rule. Okay, this is really mean, too. Well, not as much now, but when and I see Jeremiah really Watkins, broke, also uh, somebody that opens for me, it really hates that I do this. Yes. But go ahead. Let okay. me start with something sweet. Okay. Bobby is the most generous person ever. He takes everybody out to dinner, he treats everyone. He's very sweet. See he orders babe? for the table. Uh-huh. Very alpha, See, okay? Mm-hmm. But then Very alpha, yeah. when you're broke and you're on the road and you just want a piece of pizza late at night in your own hotel room, that's not allowed. You can't take the leftovers. Mm-mm. Bob will not allow it. Oh, yeah. He mm-hmm. made me shove a box of pizza down a trash can <laughs> that wasn't big enough for the pizza box. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. made me smush it, crush it in Yeah. while he was yelling at me. And Jay, tell me why. Because it's his food that he bought and ordered. <laughs> and he's, he's Have we Papa. talked about this before? Oh, no. He he does the same thing with me. I'm not allowed We've to ever take I love it. leftovers. Why it's do like you the do best. that? Because, it's I mean, I'll tell you why. Thing. No, it's not a power thing it's at power. all. No, 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 it's not a power thing. Listen to me, Gilbert, <laughs> yeah. right now. Listen to me right now, okay? Is if I pay for the meal, mm-hmm. it's mine. Okay. Oh, it's an Indian gift. Is that correct? No, yeah. it's not even an Indian gift. No, that? it's not even an Indian gift. How fucking dare you? Because he right? doesn't take it back. He just forces you to throw it away. So but when you <laughs> start packing up my food and you're going to go, hey, I'm going to take it to my hotel room, I say no <laughs> because it's not yours. Oh, man. Right, Bryce? Right. So it's Price. like this. It's like um, if I buy you – its shoes are a little different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> shoes are different. I've bought people's shoes. I've bought you, you bought shoes. And Nick is one of my, he's my favorite good neighbor, by the way. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. And I love him. He's really talented. And, um, you know, I don't want to talk about Can him. I tell an embarrassing story about him? Yeah, go ahead. When he was little and he would do something really bad, his mom would go, it's okay. It's not you. It's Billy. What? So he has this weird, <laughs> so he grew up <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. weird. What? Yeah, it's fucked up. Who's wait, wait, Billy? Who's Billy? Individual? It's just like his. Ba- it's like when he's bad, he's Billy. Oh, his alter ego. Yeah, and oh, his mom my. was like, "It's okay, it's not that's you." It's like a Doctor Jekyll. Yeah, thing. Yeah, she was like, "It's not you, it's Billy." Yeah, so that's when he gets how you fucked up, a I'm, like, I'm like, "Get Billy so. out of here!" And I don't need <laughs> Billy here. And his mom fed him into that whole mindset. <laughs> she, he was a kid actor. She really loved him, you know. So. Oh, he was a kid actor. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a really great way to not hold your kid accountable and not hold yourself accountable either. So, so, I didn't. Make, I didn't make a bad boy. I did yeah. make Billy. That's your dad's side yeah. coming out. <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. You're. Yeah, I'm going to do that to well, my kids. Well, we're going to raise serial like killers yeah. for sure. Oh, uh, but t- not Billy, Mongo. No, he'll Mongo. be. That's Mongo. <laughs> no, he'll That's be. That's Mongo loved. the Destroyer. Hey, Papa. I, hey, Papa. <laughs> yeah, and Papa, then when I they stole, grow up. I stole candy, Papa. <laughs> it's okay. That's not you, Jim. <laughs> It's Mongo the Destroyer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, best yeah. papa. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then 20 years later, what happens? I kill someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on the news, Mongo the Destroyer <laughs> yeah, yeah. burns down half of New York. Oh, wait. Yeah. I have another horrible thing you did to me on the road. Okay, okay. so I really, wanted to, <laughs> I really wanted to submit 30 minutes to Comedy Central, right? I had this perfect 30. I was really proud of it. Yeah. And I did all weekend, and always something went wrong. Finally, Sunday rolls around. I do the perfect set. I can tell that nobody crossed the camera. I'm just so excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tell Bobby, finally, I get this. I got this thing. Yeah. He's like, oh, you're going to be so mad at me. You're going to be so mad at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, why, Bob? 
what did you do, Bob? And then it turns out he took the camera during my set <laughs> into the dressing room, filmed his ass and his balls, yeah, yeah. and then put the camera back. Yeah. I mean, Sweet. at a point where I could not cut the set together. <laughs> For your Comedy Central. Yeah. <laughs> Because they would have oh, really liked had it. it. <laughs> I think you would have got a half hour special because of I it. The yeah. I have it and I <laughs> never will. <laughs> and another thing I did to her was the thing that I did with your Twitter and your Instagram. What? Yeah, BuzzFeed, a, BuzzFeed picked it up. Yeah. He, she he was on stage up, yeah. and I think it was Brea or something like that. And I, um, she didn't lock her phone, <laughs> right? So right. I showed Which her I do now. Twitter and her Instagram follow, followers my butthole and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it was the most likes I had gotten at the time, so I was oh, pretty wow. excited. That was a good hack. Backfired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, another thing that happened this weekend was um, when I was, okay, so at the end of my shows, I do a little dance. I get into my underwear, I do a little dance, and I flip, you know, on a guy on stage. <laughs> what did the guy in the second show do? <laughs> he, like, ate your foot. He, like, put his oh. your entire foot oh. in his mouth. Now, oh. now let me ask you something. <laughs> Oh my God, Don't, Gilbert! Tell people what's wrong with my feet. I won't even touch his foot with my hands. Sir, yeah, if you're listening dis- to this, yeah. yeah, Bobby has fungus <laughs> yeah. on his foot. Not just your regular no. fungus either. Yeah. This is like the guy is dying. He's dying. He's, he's dying. probably dying right yes. now. He has AIDS. Yeah, yeah. He has foot AIDS. <laughs> he has foot AIDS in his mouth. He's he sucked his my foot, and then you know what I did? I bent my foot so that it would get out of his mouth. He still tasted. I, yeah, and he were he, you uncomfortable? Yeah! Wow! That's because very I, I, in my head, I'm like, oh, this, this guy, he's gonna die. <laughs> you know that he could possibly die. <laughs> you should send him a gift certificate or something, or some coconut water. Yeah, he could, he die. could die. He could like aspergillus in his lungs and get like pneumonia and die. Oh my god! god. Can he really? No, he can't. <laughs> Jesus, Kalila! Oh my god! Kalila, you are dark, and I, I, I like it. <laughs> I just had a fear. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, what's the worst thing that can happen if you sucked on my, um, my, my green foot? Nothing. Your mouth has a lot of, like, it kills, it has such powerful enzymes, it kills everything. That That's I mean, he is. might get a cold. He might get a virus. So you could get he that. He might lose an eye. He might he lose might a lose sight. A, yeah. Can you get <laughs> gingivitis from it? No. <laughs> oh. Gingivitis from bacteria. Nobody knows how gingivitis uh, really I starts. I don't know how gingivitis <laughs> works. <laughs> how does gingivitis work? Just bacteria not flossing yeah. enough so your gums get inflamed and so then they get puffy. So you could have sucked on it. Yeah. Or just stuck in a foot. No, what if that's her thing? It is her thing. Oh, okay. it is her thing. Yeah. But oh, not anymore as much. No, I, I, I saw her a couple of months ago. And we did a show in the Bell Room, and I completely forgot what she had looked like. And so she was hosting the show, and then afterwards, I'm in the green room upstairs in the comedy yeah. store, and she walks up, like, tiptoeing. She's like, do you remember me? And I go, no. <laughs> and then she goes, yeah, I was that girl from Chicago, and she was wearing jeans. Yeah, she, she doesn't, doesn't do dress that up like right. that anymore because she realized that it's stupid. Anyway, so <laughs> cut to, so then Sunday night, right? <laughs> Sunday night, she leaves the club and I think she hates me. Fri- yeah, Friday the first night, we think we're mean to her. We feel bad. We feel bad. And then Sunday night, I'm with the um, the sound guy. and the He's she, really cool, dude. Really cool girl. Yeah, she texts guy. the sound guy saying, No, 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 guy. no. This is what happened. We texted all of him, her, and somebody else, hey, we're all going to go to dinner. Oh, right. Because we felt really bad. We, felt we wanted bad. to show her that she, we thought she was cool and she was nice. Yeah. And then she Did texted. she text him? She meant to text just the sound guy back. But mm. she texted oh, all Oh, everybody. Us. That's right. That's right. That's what happened. Yeah. 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 And she said that that Bobby Lee is She said, poisonous. no way. I would never want to hang out with them. They're taxing. I think she might have said and talentless. But I don't, I don't think yeah, exactly yeah. that. She, but she did. She said taxing. She was like, yeah, she, I never yeah. want to hang out with them. They're taxing. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Um, that's fine. We are taxing. I am taxing. Did you guys respond? N- no. Oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah. I feel like you would. No, no, no. I, like I you called. Would. No, that's just how the sound guy. I call, He. I made him call her on his phone, and then I talked she to She came her. down. No, we talked to her in we did? real life. Yeah. I don't know she the She came story. down. We were downstairs in that <laughs> weird area. Yeah. And she came down, and she was, she was really apologetic. And we were like. It's fine. It's okay. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. I would. She, you know what? In that In that situation. I would keep it real. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry I sent that, but that's how I feel. I wouldn't apologize because like right. that's exactly how she I feel. She said, "No, I'll come out with you guys," and then she disappeared. <laughs> oh. But then, but then you told because me that's flip flopping. What she yeah. did is is really yeah. not being true to her. Like, but how then she what you told me feels. this weekend was is that she has a friend, yes, who's kind of popular and she's coming up, right? A yeah. very good female comic mm-hmm. that um. Doesn't like us because of that incident. Well, that incident. So she's yeah. Are you paying story. the price because of Bobby? Pay- I've been paying the price for years. <laughs> for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. blacklisted on shows in New York. Yeah. Like because people of this girl. go. Yeah. People go. Oh, 
Jade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and then I go, what? What do you know? What do you know? And and this story has just been totally blown but it out seems of proportion. So minor. Oh, it's so that. minor. And on, she and, talked about it on a podcast, she told me. Yeah, so I invite this girl to coffee because I feel bad. I want to clear the air, right? Mm-hmm. And over something that over by the didn't happen to her. And she has no idea what happened. I mean, yeah. what has 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 she experienced nothing in this life for that to affect her so greatly? Yeah. Well, I think it is. I think some people want a reason to hate other people. And she just found that because she latched I mean? on to she it. She latched on. Yeah. Like, I, I had her over. She was, I was really sweet. She was cold. I gave her a scarf from Gap. It was a very expensive one that I like. <laughs> Girl, going, you already you're doing really too much. You're really going way I'm sorry. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, yeah. And then this thing came up and she was so pissed. And, and yeah, and then and I've tried. I've tried to be like, hey, let's just get coffee. And that's very unlike me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm vicious. I'm Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, she's Brazilian. And, and so I was just like, let's smoke a joint. But it infuriates me because... I mean, you can call it's me a, a lot of things. I'm a fat, lazy, you know, I, mm-hmm. I sometimes lie sometimes. for no reason. <laughs> you know, I, I have my character defects, mm-hmm. but, you know, I, I feel like I'm pretty good to my openers and um, I've helped a lot of people mm-hmm. in comedy, I feel. But um, so she's like, you know, spreading these rumors that I'm like, you know, what I mean, uh, psychotic yeah. and crazy poisonous. and poisonous. I don't like Ooh, it. I love beef like this. I, it's no, East Coast, I West Coast, guys. I really do hate it because we really <laughs> now. OK, maybe thinking back, like what if we were just horrible to her and we don't remember? Like, is that a possibility? Okay, but in the world of comedy, don't you think that banters like that happen every day all with the strangers? All the time, all the time. And you would, you would think that this girl is from New York. She yeah. would have a little bit of She's thicker Chicago. skin. Yeah, Chicago. Or Chicago. Girl. Yeah, even yeah. more. I mean, LA people are a little bit of pussies. But over there in yeah. Chicago, you know, you would think that she would it. have a little bit more lacquer to beef. her. Yeah, I don't want any beef. I want it to be fun. That's why I do what I, that's why I do comedy. 